Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're watching uh, the stream. Uh, thank you all for uh, stopping by, or those of you who will stop by uh, later. Uh, Celine Driver here once again to do a, another uh, football live stream. Uh, this is going to be uh, the live stream of the Harvard Crimson versus Holy Cross game. I know this is not a game that a lot of people probably care about, but um, uh, I do. And uh, maybe there's a few um, closet uh, Ivy League uh, football fans uh, out there uh, who uh, genuinely enjoy the Ivy League, or maybe you're just curious on watching me uh, do this, uh, do this stream. Uh, maybe you're not. I don't know. Uh, right now, we are waiting for ESPN Plus to start the game. Uh, that's probably going to be another couple of minutes. Uh, hopefully, some people will uh, come in uh, to uh, watch the game. If not, hell, I'll just sit here and, and, and ramble away and uh, enjoy the game myself. Um, I know I did a uh, Harvard, uh, the Harvard Brown game last week. I did run into some technical difficulties. Uh, they were purely my fault um, because I was using the wrong browser. Uh, I used to Firefox. Um, that's my browser of choice in general. Uh, Firefox just wasn't having it. Uh, there were problems with the, uh, I use YouTube TV. Uh, YouTube TV and Firefox evidently don't get along very well. And then the chat itself on this screen uh, eventually failed. Uh, and I had to restart. Uh, I've, I've since discovered that Google Chrome is actually the way to go. Big surprise. Google owns YouTube or YouTube owns Google, whichever, however that works. I don't really know or care. And wouldn't it be interesting to see if Google uh, uh, or YouTube crippled uh, Firefox's ability to uh, do these things and yet make Google Chrome nice and uh, seamless. <laughs> no conspiracy there, right, guys? Um, but I'm using Google Chrome now. I'm using I'm on this screen to uh, chat with you folks. Uh, this screen over to my left is going to be where the game is, which should be starting any minute now, assuming... Um, uh, ESPN Plus works as uh, as um, advertised. I've, I've not used ESPN Plus in the past for really anything. Um, although I have an account, so I use that account to fire up ESPN Plus. And it says it'll start at 1.30. It hasn't started yet. Oh, Wilkie is here, my good friend Wilkie, uh, one of my moderators on my regular channel. Thank you for stopping by, sir. Um, nothing up, really. I'm just going to do a live stream of the uh, Harvard Holy Cross game. I can't do a live stream of the Florida-Kentucky game tonight, unfortunately. I would love to. Um, that would be a hell of a lot of fun for me, but unfortunately, or fortunately for me because it's family, I made plans uh, for a family um, thing for tonight, and I made them long before the uh, kickoff time for the Kentucky game was announced, so um, yeah, I'm not going to be home. I'm not even going to be home for that game, so I won't even be watching the game um, for the most part. I might, I might catch the tail end of it, but uh, hopefully my Gators can pull out a win uh, without me. Yes, family first, uh, uh, Wilkie, uh, definitely. Um, I tipped in briefly to uh, my friend Uncle Lou's uh, channel. It looks like there's a couple of people over there that are enjoying watching um, watching Georgia beat the snot out of uh, something called Arkansas. Um, not much of a game from what I uh, see. And what I find interesting is everyone and their brother was picking Missouri to be the second best team in the uh, Eastern Division of the uh, Southeastern Conference. 
and they are getting stomped right now by Tennessee, a team we beat up pretty good last week. And right now, well, let's check the score while we're waiting for ESPN Plus to do something with themselves. I might have to refresh the screen. Maybe that's how it works. Uh, let's see. Tennessee is beating Missouri 41-10 to 10 at Mizzou. And there's still five minutes left in the second uh, quarter. I mean, that's amazing to me. Texas is losing TCU, although they are in the red zone at the moment. Uh, Pittsburgh's all over Georgia Tech. Uh, Arkansas is getting absolutely cremated by Georgia, which is no surprise. And uh, later on, I'm hoping to watch uh, Florida State get beat to death by something called Syracuse. So that should be interesting. So Missouri ain't what we thought they were. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Let me refresh this screen, see if something happens. Uh, I think we might be getting a little life here. Yes, indeed, we've got a game. Uh, make sure the sound is off because I don't want to get copyright struck. We are allowed. Okay, they are in uh, commercial right now. Oh, and please don't do this to me with the, with the uh, with this nonsense. Okay, still working commercial right now, but uh, the broadcast is going. Um, hopefully, it's a stable broadcast. I mean, I, I really, uh, I really am looking forward to watching this game. Uh, now, for those of you who are curious, I mean, there's only me and Wilkie in here right now. But for those of you who are curious, if you're watching later, um, I did not go to Harvard. Uh, a, I wasn't smart enough. I'm, I'm not really the smartest person in my family, although I am pretty smart. Uh, I wasn't, my grades were nowhere near enough to get into Harvard. Um, I went to the University of Florida, and I'm not ashamed of that at all. University of Florida is a fine scholastic university in addition to being a fantastic um, uh, college atmosphere and sports university. Um, however, my father did go to Harvard and Harvard Med. My grandfather on my mother's side and his brother also both went to uh, Harvard and Harvard Med. So I have a deep family connection to Harvard University. Uh, okay, the game is on. They, they haven't started anything yet. The teams are on the sidelines. Uh, <laughs> this stadium, now they're playing at Holy Cross, um, which is in Worcester, Massachusetts. And if you could see the picture of this stadium, uh, it's empty. <laughs> I think there's probably maybe a couple of thousand people in there. Uh, maybe if we're lucky. Football in the Northeast is not exactly what I would call a priority event. Um, and, of course, you know, we're talking about the Ivy League, the Patriot League. Uh, this, you know, these are minor FCS uh, conferences, even by FCS standards. So you don't usually get a big crowd there. But uh, let's see. They're doing, I believe, I, I can't. I wish I could turn the um, the the sound on, but uh, I, I can't turn the sound on. I can't show the the game, or YouTube will take my channel out. So uh, that's the idea of these game streams. I watch the game. I do a play by play and commentate. Now, the advantage of the, the the good thing for you guys is if you are fans of these type of leagues, uh, the, the unless you buy. Um, uh, ESPN Plus or some kind of pay-per-view um, uh, package, you don't get to see or hear about these games. So, uh, you know, me commentating on them, uh, at least you get something anyway. So Harvard is in their road uniform, white shirt, uh, crimson uh, numerals, crimson uh, pants, uh, the crimson helmet with the um, white H. 
Um, Holy Cross is in their home uniforms, which are kind of purple. I guess I guess we could say purple. Uh, purple shirts. Um, I can't see the uh, white helmet uh, with the white. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, white helmet. Yeah, white helmet. Purple HC emblem on the side. Purple pants. Uh, so that's about it. All we can do now is wait for um, something to happen. They're doing the coin toss. They've got. It's interesting. Harvard sends out one guy as their team captain. Uh, Holy Cross sends out four players. Um, looks like Harvard won the toss. And they are going to what? I think they're going to defer to the second half. Yeah, Holy Cross is going to receive the kickoff to open the game. Harvard defers to the uh, second half. Oh, at some point, we will get underway here. Have the uh, pregame prayer. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. Holy Cross is a uh, is a uh, Catholic university. I believe it's a Catholic university. Watch 6-2. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, did that uh, did that package I shipped you ever uh, show up? I uh, hope it I hope it did or at least I, I think it should show up today if it hasn't already. It is a little early in the day for mail for a lot of people, so uh, hopefully you get it soon though, and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so if folks are in here, don't forget to uh, click the thumbs up button for me. Um, the thumbs up does help with um, with the YouTube, um, uh, you know, rankings and algorithms and such. And, you know, it's a, it's a good indication of how popular a channel is, and it does help with respect to the uh, YouTube search algorithms, which always helps. Oh, okay. Tracking says it will be there on, on Monday. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, post office nowadays, what can we do, right? You know, hopefully it'll get there. <laughs> if I'm shipping anything these days, um, I'm just, I especially by post office, I just hope it gets there. Okay. Harvard kicks off. It goes through the end zone uh, for an automatic touchback and... Uh, Holy Cross will start the game. I don't know. In the Ivy League, they seem to be starting from the uh, from the 20. Uh, I think it's a 25, just like everybody else. But, you know, with some of these leagues, you never know what little tweaks to the rules they're going to make. I mean, like the Ivy League, they were kicking off from the 40 instead of the 35. So, uh, okay, so it is from the 25. It is first and 10. Uh, Holy Cross is lining up in the shotgun, running back to the quarterback's right. And he pitches to the running back, and Harvard blows it up. Absolutely blew that up. Seven-yard loss. I mean, that 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 um, that play never had a chance. Okay, the oh, Holy Cross is called the Crusaders, in case you were wondering. Um, Holy Cross's record is... Um, Is uh three and one, they're second place in the Patriot League. If you were curious about that, um, Harvard uh, second and okay, so completed pass out to the 22, so that's a gain of five, I think. Um, Harvard is two and oh, they're second place in the Ivy League, and they are the Harvard Crimson, that is their uh mascot title. So we are third down from the 24. So that'd be third and 11 from the 24 shotgun snap coming up, running back to the quarterback's left, back to throw, good protection, complete. First down. It's a good throw, good catch. 
He didn't do a bad job on that one. Picked up the uh, picked up the pass rush pretty good. Okay, first and ten, shotgun again. These are probably all gonna be shotgun. Back to pass, throws the ball incomplete. It was too far to the outside for the receiver. It was uh, it just didn't have a didn't really have a chance there. I got to tell you, I've seen high school football games that are better attended than this. If you could see the stadium, I mean, the entire end zone to one side is empty, and so are all the corner bleachers. Second and 10, shotgun snap, quarterback draw, outruns one tackler, and then gets swamped after a gain of it looks like two, maybe three. Quarterback is whining to the referee about he got hit too hard. I guess you got to understand these these type of schools. You know, they, they're they're a little bit, shall we say, um, a little bit too left of center, egalitarian, snowflake types. They can't take any real punishment. Third down, shotgun snap, back to pass, flag on the play already. Overthrew his receiver badly. I think they might have blown the play dead. Not sure. Illegal shift on Holy Cross, so back him up five yards. Yeah, the, the, these are the kind of players that they they whine a lot in in these leagues, like the you know the these FCS Northeastern leagues. You know they 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 like to whine a lot. They're they're almost soccer players in that respect, in my not so humble opinion. Okay, line them up again. Third down, I don't know what the year. Third down and 12. Thank you for the TV finally catching up. Low quality. Shotgun snap, back to pass. The rush almost gets to him. Overthrows the uh, receiver. He had a step on the Harvard uh, defender, but the quarterback just badly overthrew him. So fourth and 12, looks like we're going to have a punt here. Yeah, don't exactly expect high quality um, TV coverage here. I'm sure the commentating is third rate, but uh, I can't listen to it, which is probably to my advantage. But the graphics and everything are a bit slow. So punt formation, gets the snap, kick is away, looks like a high short kick, and bounces and dies right at about the Harvard 37-yard line. So. Harvard has a eh, decent field position. Their first possession is going to start from their 37. Oh, good afternoon to you, my friend, Megan, Megan. Good to see you in here, sir. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, score update, there's no score. They're just starting. Um, Holy Cross had its first possession, and they they moved the ball a little bit, and then they, they just punted away to Harvard. Harvard takes the snap, first and 10. Running play right up the middle. Uh, looks like he gained three, maybe four, if they're generous. So Harvard's going to go no huddle, it looks like. Yeah, they're going to try and do no huddle, but, you know, looking over the sideline uh, kind of thing. But um, so second and something because they can't keep up. Back to pass, Harvard swing pass out in the flat. Good run all the way to the Holy Cross 45. So first down for Harvard. Thank you, LW. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you hitting the thumbs up. Um, feel free to stay as long as you want, of course, um, but uh, I understand. Uh, Harvard's record is 2-0, and uh, Megan. Uh, I'll, get to, I'll tell you who they beat in just a second. Uh, first and 10 snap, uh, runs right up the middle, and Holy Cross blew that up. He might have lost a yard, or no, they're going to mark him. It's back to the line of scrimmage. So second and 10 coming up. Harvard is 2-0. and They beat Georgetown in their first game. That's a non-conference game. Their second game last week, they beat Brown University, uh, the, the fighting Marxists of Brown University. Uh, beat them badly. This is a third game against Holy Cross. Second and 10, shotgun snap, slow developing running play. Ooh, he had a lot of grass. 
out there, but he got tripped up. Looks like he gained four. Could have been a bigger run, but he got tripped up. Uh, Holy Cross, by the way, is three and one, I believe I said. So going to be a matchup of two decent teams, you know, for what they are. Third down, Harvard snaps it, swing pass out in the flat, and he broke away. Go, 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 go. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> nice play. Nice play. It was a bubble screen to the left. And he, he broke the he broke one tackle and uh just jetted right down the sideline and, and dove in for the uh touchdown. Nice play. Nice, nice play. So Harvard draws first blood. They're up six nothing. Point point uh, uh the extra point is upcoming. Uh and the kick is up, and it is good. And that is a horrible camera angle, which, given the given the uh, limitations of Holy Cross's stadium, doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, Megan Megan says, if I'm not mistaken, Harvard UGA Harvard was a big game a million years ago. Probably was, um, but you know, a million years ago, Harvard was a big deal. Harvard Yale they were national champions all the time. Game's gone to commercial. So nice to see Harvard drawing first blood on that one. Hopefully they can keep it up. I'm going to um, look at uh, my score app and uh, give you guys some updates about games you might care about. Um, no, hockey hasn't started yet. Uh, let's see. If anyone cares about Memphis and Temple, they're tied at 17 at the half. Purdue is beating Minnesota 13 to 10, but Minnesota is at the Purdue four. So, and they just started the third quarter. Michigan, Wisconsin uh, is at halftime. Michigan is up 13 to 10. Uh, Tennessee is beating the absolute crap out of Missouri. Missouri was supposed to be the second best team in the East, huh? Yeah, fuck you. They're not. They're wor they're worthless. And Tennessee is beating them 42 to 10 with a minute left in the second quarter. And Tennessee is at the Missouri 10. Let's see. Uh, Texas is beating TCU 23-17. They're uh, almost at halftime. Charlotte's beating Illinois 14 to 10. Just started the third quarter. Uh, Georgia Tech is losing badly to Pittsburgh at halftime, 42-14. So my friend Sea Dog is probably not going to be happy. Uh, Georgia, as we expected, was is absolutely humiliating our Kansas 24-0. Um that that game was never a, that, that that I don't know who the hell was thinking our Kansas was going to compete with Georgia. Georgia is scary in 2021, okay? In my opinion, as a Florida fan, it's Georgia's national championship to lose at this time. Wake Forest is losing to Louisville 17-10, about six minutes left in the second quarter. That's it. That's all the game's going on right now. Harvard is about to kick off, and they do kick off from the 35 in this league, so Okay. Uh, but last week they were kicking off at the 40. That must be an Ivy League thing. Uh, kickoff went through the end zone. So Holy Cross going to set up on their 25 again. Uh, let's see. Bulldog JC, how you doing, man? The score here is Harvard 7, Holy Cross nothing. About 10 minutes uh, left in the first quarter. Each team has had one possession. Har uh, Holy Cross is about to start their second possession. Yeah, your dogs are doing good, Beg and Megan, but uh, you know, look at the competition they're they're playing. So, but good for them. Uh, Holy Cross first and ten runs right up the middle and gets four, maybe five yards. Not sure. Holy Cross's uniforms look very much like TCU uniforms without the. Uh, Without the chrome on the helmets. 
Okay, they only gave him three yards. Second and seven from the Holy Cross 28. Shotgun, four, uh, three wide, tight end uh, on the right uh, on the right side, running back in the backfield. Motion guy snapped the ball already. And quarterback draw and eats it. Maybe a gain of – he might have gained two. He just ran right into the Harvard – defensive line is I guess he was thinking you know what they were just going to let you go I mean you know come on man <coughs> okay third and five let's see three three to the three left one to the right running back in the backfield they fake the handoff Rolling to the right, throws the ball, incomplete. It hit him right in the hands, for God's sake. You're supposed to catch that ball. I guess that's why you're playing in the FCS and not a, not big boy ball. The funny thing about watching these, these games from uh, like the Patriot League and the Ivy League and all the – the players look so small compared to the real football that, you, you, that most of us are used to watching in like the SEC. I mean, these guys are all routinely about three or four inches shorter than, than the players we generally watch. Punt formation, kick is away, no real pressure on that. Uh, calls for the fair catch and then lets it bounce and everyone runs away from it. And down at the 32. So basically the same field position Harvard started their first drive from. Mr. Spears, how you doing, man? Checking in from Pittsburgh as usual. Thank you, guys. Thank everybody uh, who stopped in or is still here. I, I thank you for your support. I know, you know, Harvard, you know, football isn't exactly everyone's cup of tea. It's not really, you know, I, I, I have connection and I am a fan of Harvard. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a Harvard T-shirt to wear next time. Um, let's see. First and 10 back fakes the handoff, throws a questionable ball into double coverage. And it's, is it incomplete? Even if it is complete. He caught it at this, at, 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 and we got a flag on the play, but he caught it for no gain. So holding on Holy Cross. Oh my. Didn't they teach you not to hard? Okay. So that's an automatic first down. So um, but I appreciate everyone who's stopping by and uh, and watching the game with me. Uh, it's it's entertaining to a certain extent for me, and you know I'm a fan. Okay, first and ten from the forty-two of Holy uh, Harvard. Sh sh snap goes off, handoff, and looks like he gained two yards. Pardon me. Tries tried to run around the left side, and uh, you got you know they got good penetration. Uh, Holy Cross did, and just blew that up. Uh, yeah, no Jordan Davis in in the Ivy League. That, that's for sure. Second and twelve. I lost yardage. Quarterback's rolling to the right. Throws a strike. Good catch. He was rolled roll, roll to the right, just, just threw it right where only the Harvard receiver could catch it. And first down. Nice throw. Nice nice uh, pitch and catch. Okay, Harvard's lining up. No huddle. Shotgun formation. Running back is to the quarterback's left. Handoff to the running back, and he's balled up. And... No gain, and the Holy Cross player was probably lucky he didn't get called for a late hit out of bounds. Sam, once you cross that big white line on the sideline, the play's over. You can let him go now. <coughs> Focusing on the referee for some reason, no reason at all. Okay, second and something. They haven't flashed the graphic up. Shotgun snap upcoming. Running back goes in motion, second and eight. Quarterback drops back, throws a floater way over the receiver's head. 
That that ball, no, if he had been seven foot tall, he might have had a chance. Third and eight upcoming. It's about 646 left in the uh, first quarter. Harvard's up seven nothing. Okay, shotguns again. Tight end goes in motion. Running back gets it and breaks one tackle, but gets swarmed out. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage, but it's going to be fourth and fourth and seven, fourth and eight, something like that. Looks like all the cross player took took a shot in the gut or something like that. He's not doing real well. Yeah, he 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 looks a little green right now. He might have taken a a shot somewhere below the stomach. <laughs> he doesn't look happy right now, but uh, he got back to the sideline. Fourth and six, punt formation for Harvard. No pressure on the punter. Lets it go. It's going to be way over everybody, and Harvard downs it at the fifteen. It bounced at about the ten, but it started rolling backwards before. The Harvard player could get to it. Uh, Steve Pearson zero. He says, wanted to do a quick drop in before my game came back. Show my support. Hey, Steve, I appreciate it. I do. Thank you very much. Uh, Harvard is up 7 nothing on Holy Cross. There's about six minutes left in the first quarter. Uh, they've gone to commercial. Let's take a look at some of the scores out there in the rest of the world. Let's see. Some other games that I didn't mention before. Buffalo and Western Michigan. I mean, who cares? A directional Michigan game is probably not going to draw a lot of eyeballs. But they're tied up at seven, uh, about 12 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Memphis and Temple are still tied at 17. They're just starting the... Uh, third quarter. Um, Minnesota is ahead of Purdue, 17-13, about 11 and a half minutes in the, uh, left in the third quarter. Michigan, Wisconsin is at half. Uh, Michigan is up 13-10. Tennessee and Missouri is at halftime. Um, Tennessee is just all over. I mean, who could have seen this coming? Tennessee all over Missouri, 45-10. Tennessee doesn't score 45 points in two games, much less in, in one half. I mean, good on you, Tennessee. Shout out to my friend BDD. Uh, probably not watching, probably doesn't even know I'm doing this. But you are my friend, sir, and I am glad your team is going to get a win today and look pretty good doing it. UMass and Toledo. Toledo is all over UMass, 31 to nothing, about 13 and a half left in the third quarter. Texas over TCU, 23-17 at the half. Uh, Illinois is still losing to Charlotte, 14-10, about eight, uh, just under nine minutes left in the third quarter. North Carolina beating up on Duke, 24-7, just started the third quarter. Pittsburgh is destroying Georgia Tech, 42-14. to uh, 14. Shout out to my, my buddy C-Dog. Uh, sorry about that. Georgia still at half. 24 oh, 24 nothing over Arkansas. Holy Cross first and 10. Uh, gains 10 on a pass play. Good job. And finally, Louisville and Wake Forest are tied at 17. Almost halftime. Just a little over a minute left in the first half. Okay. Six minutes left in this quarter. Holy Cross taking the snap. Uh, run play up the middle goes for a yard. So that should be second and nine from the Holy Cross uh, 26. I believe clock is still running. Yeah, should be second and nine. The, the, the broadcasters of this game, which is not ESPN, they're just carrying it, are, yeah, there you go. Nice work with the graphics. Good job. Second and nine, shotgun snap, back to pass, throws the ball way over the guy's head. I mean, come on, man. 
He's wearing purple. You, you can spot purple against a green field and between two guys wearing white shirts. See, you, you, you couldn't lower that pass down about a foot. <laughs> terrible pass. Terrible, terrible pass. Third and nine from the Holy Cross 26. Shotgun snap. Back to pass. Here comes the rush. He evades it. Throws the ball. Ooh, almost picked off. No, you're not going to get an interference penalty, you whining bitch. Stop it. This is football. This isn't checkers. It's a contact sport. Jeez, what a bunch of whiny bitches on the Holy Cross team. Grow the hell up, man. You'd think these guys didn't grow up playing football knowing it was a contact sport. Pathetic. Punt formation for Holy Cross. Fourth and nine. Kick is away. Harvard player calling for a fair catch. Catches it again at the 32-yard line of Harvard. Harvard has started three straight drives at the 32 or 33-yard line uh, 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 on their side of the field. Let's see what they can do with it now. Holy Cross coach is doing his best Dabo Sweeney imitation. He's crying to the referee for some reason. Stop it. Just stop it. You're making yourself look bad. Okay. Harvard setting up at their 34. I'm sorry, 34 yard line. Hand off to the running back, straight up the middle, goes nowhere and loses. Probably loses a couple of yards. I mean, he just, he had nowhere to go. Harvard, I, I don't know what the blocking scheme there was, but it didn't work. <laughs> so it looks like, it looks like he got back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 10 for Harvard. Shotgun snap, back to pass. Middle screen, and he dropped it. It was set up pretty good for a middle screen. I mean, he had two blockers ahead of him, but he just dropped the ball. He just started running before he secured the catch. So third and 10 upcoming. Not a lot of fundamentals in this game. That, that's for damn sure. They're, they're not doing fundamentals. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, Harvard setting up third and 10 from their 34 yard line. Shotgun snap upcoming. And fakes a handoff, throws it out in the flat. Wouldn't have even come close to a first down if he had caught it, broken up by the Holy Cross defender. That 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 play was that was just a stupid call. I mean, if you're gonna do a third and ten. Take a shot downfield. You're not keeping the linebackers honest. Ugh. So punt formation for Harvard. They tried to pressure him. He got it away. Deep punt. Deep, deep punt. Rolling, rolling inside. Down at the two. Oh, that was a hell of a punt. They, gave, they put pressure on him, but uh, he got her away, and he kicked a beauty. He pinned Hol Holy Cross deep in their own territory. They're going to start from the two-yard line. That's, that's, that's bad. Uh, Holy Cross snaps it from the two, running play straight up the middle, and he gained five or six. I mean, that was a good run. Good run. Got him, got him a little bit 
further away from the uh, from uh, their the uh, goal line. So right up the middle. I mean, great blocking by Holy Cross's line. Gain of seven, second and three. Did another running play up the middle. Looks like they tripped him up at the 11. So I think it's going to be third and one. Third and one, yeah. So it's third and one from the Holy Cross 11. Quarterback lines up in the shotgun, of course. I mean, everybody lines up in the shotgun nowadays. Now he's hesitating, looking over the sideline for a play. Running back shifts from the right to the left. Looks like they mean it this time. Snap the ball, hands it to the running back, runs to the right, gets the first down, plenty more, drags. A whole lot of people with him. Looks like a gain of five. Okay, first and ten. Holy Cross is lining up. Shotgun snap, it's from their 16, it looks like. Back to pass, looking, looking, going for it all, going for a deep ball. Picked off, I think. Yep, picked off and lost his helmet in the process. <laughs> Harvard intercepts the ball. Good job. Good defense. It was underthrown. The defender just stepped right in front of the, the receiver. And, you know, just the easiest interception you could ever ask for. Just bing. Good job. All right. So it's almost as good as a punt <laughs> for Holy Cross. But it goes on the record as an interception and a turnover. So Harvard's going to take over. First and 10 from there, 42. Lining up with the shotgun. Running back is deep behind the quarterback this time. And Flea Flicker. Harvard quarterback evades the rush, throws the ball complete to the 34-yard line of Holy Cross. So pretty good, uh, pretty good play. It didn't really fool the um the, the defense, but it was single coverage. <laughs> And uh, the Harvard receiver just stepped right in front of the Holy Cross defender. Good uh, evasion by the uh, Harvard quarterback, too. He almost got sacked on that. Bad tackling by Holy Cross. He was trying to rip the ball out instead of knocking the guy to the ground. First and 10 from the Holy Cross, 34, shotgun snap. Running play all the way, right up the middle. Looks like he got three yards. Uh, we're waiting for so it's going to be second and seven. Quarterback lines up in the shotgun. Looks as this is probably going to be a running play. No, he faked it. Faked the uh, faked the uh, handoff. A little plat, a little pass out in the flat, and um, Harvard receiver picked up like three. Yeah, three yards. So it should be third and five. Sold that. Sold the fake pretty well. Harvard uh, throws right over the middle. First down Harvard at the Holy Cross 22. Um, they were showing a replay, and uh, the Harvard ran the play before the replay was over. So missed most of that play because these guys don't know what the hell they're doing. But first and 10 for Harvard at the Holy Cross 22.
Shotgun snap. Back to pass. Evades the rush. Rolling, rolling. Ooh. <laughs> what a hit. <laughs> Hell of a hit. Okay, and that does it for the first quarter. That was a no-game pass. I mean, he, 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 got, he got to the line of scrimmage, and the Holy Cross defender just leveled him. So, going to commercial. That's a shame. Okay, somebody sent me a message, and it's kind of a shame uh, that I couldn't take advantage of the offer, but uh, too much money. All right, let's let's catch up on some scores here. Uh, oh, let me one thing in the. Uh, uh, Megan Megan wants to know if I'm going to stream any more UF games. Yes, I am. I do plan on streaming a lot more UF games, just not tonight's UF game because I'm not going to be home. Uh, I, I had made plans before the kickoff time was announced for tonight's game, and I'm not, I'm not going to be home. So I'm not going to be able to watch it or stream it. At best, I'll be trying to catch up on the scores on my phone here. Uh, let's see. Catch up on some scores here. Uh, Buffalo has gone up 10-3 over Western Michigan. Uh, Memphis and Temple are still tied at 17. Minnesota is still leading Purdue 17-13. Michigan still over Wisconsin 13-10. Uh, uh, Tennessee, Missouri is still at the half 45-10 Tennessee. Surprise, biggest surprise to me. Toledo all over UMass, um, 37 nothing. Texas uh, over TCU, they just started the third quarter, 23-17. Is Texas back? I don't know. Back to winning seven games? I don't know. Could be. Charlotte is uh, losing to Illinois now, 17-14, getting towards the end of the third quarter. Uh, North Carolina is all over Duke, 24 to seven. Georgia Tech is losing to Pittsburgh, 42, 14, but Georgia Tech has, uh, the ball first and goal. Um, they just started the third quarter. So yeah, maybe something positive for Georgia Tech. Uh, Georgia is at, uh, 27, nothing over our Kansas. So they managed to score three points. Um, Wake is over Louisville 20 to 17 at the half. Uh, Appalachian State is beating Georgia State, and USC Colorado just started. And I lost the feed here, or somebody lost the feed here. Oh, something happened to ESPN Plus or something. They they dropped the feed. Let's see if I can get it back. I got it back. Okay. Um, well, it was a run play by Harvard. I'm not sure what... Uh, They lost the graphics, so I guess it's a it's a problem at the uh, at the broadcasters' end, not mine. It's one of these low rent broadcasters, they they don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay, so I missed first, uh, so I missed second down, but it's now third down and six. Uh, Holy Cross is eighteen yard line. Harvard is set to snap in shotgun formation. Back to pass. Here comes a three man rush. Lofts it in the end zone. Harvard catches it. Touchdown. But there's a flag on the play. Uh-oh. Hold on. There's a flag. But it is a Harvard touchdown. It's an 18-yard touchdown pass. And I think it's going to be against Holy Cross because the Harvard players are celebrating. 
It is, yeah. It um, they cut away. They 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 did they cut to the referee too late. But they it was a a, a penalty on Holy Cross, so it was obviously declined. And touchdown Harvard extra point is coming up. You should see the uh, the scoreboard they have. Um, kick is up and good. You see the scoreboard that they have at the Holy Cross Stadium. Uh, really a very nice looking modern uh, scoreboard for a stadium that has 50 people in it. That's a good juggling catch. I mean, the the uh, the Holy Cross player knocked it um, as it was coming in. And uh, as the Harvard player was falling to his back, he was just juggling it and he caught the ball as he landed. So touchdown Harvard, they're up 14 nothing. Will Thoroughgood is in here. Good to see you, sir. No, I did not go to Harvard. Um, I went to the University of Florida. Uh, my father, my mother's father, and his brother all went to Harvard and Harvard Med. So I grew up around three Harvard graduates, and they all like football to one degree or another. So, um, and I lived in Boston for a while, so I did get to see a lot of Harvard games on TV when I was a small person. Kickoff is fielded at the five yard line of Holy Cross, and the Holy Cross runner is still running. He's evaded a whole bunch of tacklers, and he's finally brought down at the 50. Good run back. Good run back by Holy Cross. He beat uh, he beat the coverage pretty badly. No flags. He broke one arm tackle there, and then he was pretty much untouched until he got up around the 45 or 50, and they finally dragged him down. So Holy Cross is set up with their best field position of the game so far. Um. See if they can do anything with it. So far, they really haven't generated a lot of offense. So it's at the Harvard 48. Shotgun snap, fake the handoff, beats the blitz, picked off. This is going to be a pick six, I think. He's still going. One guy to beat, pick six. Harvard win. Harvard scored, pick six. Good job. He just... He threw it was a good, it was a decently thrown ball. Uh, the Holy Cross player just, you know, doinked it and it went right up in the air. And um, Harvard, uh, I, I think it was this uh, cornerback, just grabbed it in the air and 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 uh, to the house, baby, to the house. I wonder if they'll show that show a replay of that. Come on. <laughs> so it's 20 to nothing Harvard with the extra point coming up. See if these jokers uh get around to showing a replay. That would be nice. Looks like a high school football stadium. It really does. <laughs> Kick is up and good. Harvard is up 21 nothing with 13.47 left in the second quarter. Good job. So this, this game is being broadcast by Charter TV3, I guess, in uh, Worcester. Uh, Massachusetts, which obviously for them, it's amateur hour. Uh, let's see. Uh, Will Thorgood says when I told him if I'm Harvard or not, um, he said, he said, okay, because Harvard is like impossible to get accepted into. This is true. Harvard is very difficult to uh, get into. Uh, and it's very expensive once you get in. <laughs> 
And Will's telling me that Harvard's rival, Yale, is beating Lehigh 28 nothing. Yeah, so, Har pardon me, Harvard, Yale, and uh, Princeton are usually the best three of the Ivy League in general. Matter of fact, let me see if I can look up the um, see if I can look up the uh, Ivy League standings. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, Dartmouth and Harvard and Yale are one and oh in conference. Um, Princeton is. It hasn't played a conference game yet. Columbia hasn't either. Penn, Cornell, and Brown are all 0-1 in conference. Um, Dartmouth right now is 3-0 and overall. Harvard is 2-0. and Yale is 1-1. One and -one. So, um, yeah, let's see. And Harvard's next game is actually a conference game. It's at Cornell. It's at Harvard. It's against Cornell. Uh, kickoff is just uh, was a rolling kickoff, and Holy Cross returns it to the Holy Cross 33. So good return there. Harvard's next few games are at uh, at Harvard against Cornell, um, at home against Lafayette, at Princeton, home against Dartmouth, home against Columbia. I'm sorry, at Columbia, at home against Penn, and then at Yale. And that'll be the end of their season. So that'll work. Uh, yeah, Patri uh, Lehigh is in the Patriot League, and so is Holy Cross. Holy Cross is also in the Patriot League. Um, Ivy League teams play a lot against the Patriot League. They're at about the same level. So oh, there goes my camera. better. Okay. Holy Cross takes the snap first and 10 right up the middle and the running back has broken way through. Good long run. That was a 30 something yard run up to the Harvard 45. So big run for Holy Cross 46. Sorry. Good going. Hurry up. Snap the ball. Nope. Looking to the sideline, so no snap of the ball yet. Shotgun formation. Moving the running back from the left side of the quarterback to the right. Ball is snapped, back to pass. Here comes the rush, beats the rush. Complete out on the flat. Gain of, uh, looks like 14-yard gain. So good job by uh, Holy Cross. Two, two big chunk plays. <clears throat> They're already down to the Harvard 31. <clears throat> so it looks like Holy Cross is trying to find some signs of life here. Uh, let's see, first and 10, snap the ball, handoff, blown up in the backfield, loss of three or four. Looks like a loss of three. So it'll be second down and 13, just – Harvard linebacker just blew right through the line and, uh, and, and killed that play before it ever got started. Oh, they're my oh, the loss of two they're marking, so second and 12. Second and 12, shotgun formation. Ball is snapped, back to pass. Quarterback draw right up the middle, and Harvard wraps him up. Looks like he gained three or four. 
There's not a well-conceived fake. Harvard was definitely not fooled. Lyman came right off his block and just and, and just wrapped the uh, QB up. So third and eight, so that was a gain of four. So he ripped off two really, really big plays in a row, and now they stalled out. So third and eight from the Harvard 29. Ball is snapped, faked the handoff. He's rolling to his right, rolling, rolling, being chased. He threw the ball. It was complete, but out of bounds. Receiver was wide open. They just the quarterback just couldn't get him the ball. So what are you going to do on fourth and eight? They're going to bring out the field goal unit. Got to get something, I guess. You got to break Harvard's momentum. Um, so looks like a kick from the thirty-six. They widen out the widen it out a little bit. I could tell. Uh, Looking like a forty-six yard field goal kick is up. Ain't even close. Not even in. That's not even the same zip code. I mean, that was the thing was so far right wide right. It was almost out of the stadium. That was horrible. That 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 was horrible. That's the kind of kick that gets you benched. That's that's pathetic. Terrible kick. Terrible. <sighs> Head coach should be embarrassed by that. So first and 10 for Harvard from their 29. Running play off to the right. Running back gains two. Tried to run around the outside and then just got wrapped up. Okay, so, oh, they gave him three. So second and seven from the Harvard 32. Shotgun formation again. Running back split to the, to the right. Hands off to the running back. Tries to run, tries to get the edge. He got the edge and ran out at the 41. Looks like the 41. Good run around the uh, around the, the left side. He got out, he got out to the edge and picked up a first down. So good run for uh, good run for him. He outran three uh, Holy Cross defenders to get the edge. So first and ten from the 41. Hand off to the running back right up the middle, gets about three, and then Holy Cross just stops him dead. All right, where are we at here? So second and seven from the Harvard 43. Tight end in motion, snaps the ball, handoff to the running back right up the middle, slices up for another four-yard gain. So it should be third and three, very manageable third and three. Could be a run pass option. Um, Harvard's going no huddle, third and four. Snaps the ball, fakes the handoff, and I don't know what they were thinking on that one. The ball was thrown way too hard, way too high over the middle, and the the the, the receiver was covered up beautifully by the Holy Cross defender. So I don't know what the quarterback was thinking there. That was just a badly executed, badly designed play. Fourth and four, they're going to bring out the punt formation. <coughs> Hoping they can pin them back and, uh, you know, flip the field. Kick is up. Good pressure. Knock the kicker down. I wonder if they'll call that. Uh, good Harvard roll all the way to the five-yard line, six-yard line. 
The kicker went down. I don't know if they're going to call that or not. I guess not. No flag on the play, so I guess they're saying incidental contact. <clears throat> and we go to commercial. Well, let me take a look at something real quick online here. Okay, so we are in commercial, and I only have one person in here, so I guess that's me. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, I didn't expect this stream to be terribly, terribly well uh, re uh, attended, so that's okay. Let me check a few things here. Check some scores for you guys. Um, see, Buffalo is now up over Western Michigan, 10-7. Um, uh, Memphis is uh, still leading Temple, 23-17, uh, but Temple has the ball fourth and goal at the Memphis one, so they might score something. Uh, Minnesota is still beating Purdue, 17-13. They are now in the fourth quarter. Michigan is up on Wisconsin 20 to 10. Almost two minutes left in the third. I remember Uncle Lou, my, my good buddy Uncle Lou, saying that whiskey was going undefeated this year. Uh, not so much. Uh, Tennessee is up 48 17 over Mizzou. Like I said, everyone thought Mizzou was going to be this powerhouse in the uh, SEC East. Uh, no, <laughs> no, they're not. I'll get to the rest of the scores in a second. Holy Cross snaps the ball from their five back to pass. Missed the receiver. He had a step on the Harvard defender. If he had caught that on the run, he might have gained quite a bit of yardage. Uh, Toledo over UMass, 38-0. Uh, Texas, 26-17 over TCU. Illinois is finally up over Charlotte, 24-14. Uh, second and 10 snap coming up. Quarterback's heels are right on the goal line, so be careful, guys. Uh, run up the middle. Uh, Might have got back to the original line of scrimmage. Might have. So third and, third and long upcoming. Uh, Georgia, 27 nothing over Arkansas. So Georgia's usual second half, we're just not going to play offense. Bullshit is starting up again. I bet my friend uh, Uncle Lou is probably very unhappy about that. <clears throat> Wake Forest is beating Louisville 2017. Uh, third and 10 for Holy Cross. Shotgun snap back to pass. And, ooh, almost picked off, almost caught by the quarterback in the end zone, but they played volleyball with it and knocked the ball down. So it's, um, it could have been another pick six for Harvard. They threw it up. The Harvard defender jumped, knocked the ball around. A Holy Cross quarterback tried to grab it, tried to bat it to another Holy Cross player. And the Holy Cross lineman, to his credit, spiked the ball to the ground because the Harvard player was almost on top of that. Punt formation, the punter is literally at the back of the end zone. Uh, short kick, fair catch signal at the Holy Cross 46, first and 10, Harvard. Uh, let's see. Appalachian State is up 7-0 over Georgia State. USC is up over Colorado 3-0. So that catches anyone who cares up. <clears throat> uh, 
So first and 10, Harvard. Seven minutes, 46 seconds left to go in the first half. Harvard has the ball at the Holy Cross 47-yard line. Hand off to the running back, tries to sweep around to the right, picks up a yard. <coughs> Pretty well defended by Holy Cross. Tried to string it out, but just no chance. No, no, no blocking by uh, the Harvard line on that play. So second and nine, clock is running. Let's see, snap the ball, back to pass, fakes a handoff out to the flat on the left, runs, trying to fake out the uh, Holy Cross defenders. Didn't uh, didn't manage to break a tackle there, but uh, picked up a few yards. Might be third and six. Third and five, third and six. It was decent blocking by Harvard, but the Holy Cross defender just threw, the, threw them all. Uh, there's one Harvard blocker and three Holy Cross defenders. So, yeah, third and six. That uh, formation is three wide outs to the quarterback right, one wide out to the quarterback left. Running back in the backfield. Now they shift one of the receivers to the left. So it's two to the right, two to the left, and somebody calls timeout. Harvard called timeout. Must have been a bit of confusion on that formation because it didn't look like Harvard was really uh, set. So timeout on the field, everyone huddles up. Yeah, it was a Harvard timeout. So now they're showing the uh, – now it looks like the, uh, the, 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 the side of the field with the camera is that's showing – you know, the typical game um, camera angle. <clears throat> that side of the field is full, but the opposite side is practically empty. And the end zone uh, to um, to the uh, player, you know, behind Harvard at this point is empty as well. And there's no bleachers at the other end zone, as you've been seeing if you're watching the game. Third and six, snap the ball, shotgun snap, ball is up. And, oh, come on, there's got to be a flag there. Yeah, there's a flag. Harvard player would have been able to come back to the ball, but the Holy Cross player just yanked him. So, an obvious pass interference. Yeah, that was obvious. Even by Ivy League Patriot League standard, that was obvious. Because the Harvard player had him beat. And yeah, he, just, he practically tackled him. And, and the Holy Cross player is going, no, incomplete. Yeah, it was incomplete because you mugged him. <laughs> okay, first and 10 from the Holy Cross, 27. Snap the ball, fake the hand. No, hand, he did hand it off. Okay, right up the middle. Good fake, though. He sold it well because... Uh, Harvard just gained seven yards on that run, so it's now second and uh, three from the 20. Good uh, good play action. They sold it well. well. Second and three. Would be nice to put another touchdown on the board before the half, that's for sure. Snap the ball, running play. And this time he faked nobody, lost two yards. Yeah. He stutter stepped a little too much. A little bit less stutter stepping, a little bit more running. That would uh that would help. Third and four. Shotgun snap back to pass, throws out in the flat. He makes one player miss, makes two players miss. Take, yep, first down all the way to the 10-yard line. So first and uh, – well, either first and 10 or first and goal, depending on which graphic they want to put up. But good play. Needed four, got, uh, got 10. Good job. All right, so first and goal from 10. 
getting the play from the sidelines. About four minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. Ball is snapped, handoff around the right side, made the first guy miss, second guy got him, got down to the three-yard line, but there's a flag on the play. I think this one's going to come back. Yep, holding on Harvard. Yep, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. So first and uh, 20. That's going to put him behind the sticks quite a bit. Yeah, that was number 75. Just took a handful of Holy Cross jersey and just yanked downward. So not a, not a good look. <laughs> not a good look. Snap the ball. Play action. No, he did hand it off. Running back gets seven yards on that. Uh, yes, uh, seven yards. Got down to the... 13, so got some of that penalty yardage back. Harvard Harvard has the ability, it seems, to uh, sell the play action uh, pretty well. It, 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 you know, the, the quarterback seems to be really good about whether he's going to plant that ball in the running back's gut or pull it back. Snaps the ball, hands it off to the same running back, this time around the left side, gets the edge. And bam, good run down to the five-yard line. So third and goal from the five. <coughs> He's quick. He managed to get around, get around the edge. Turned it upfield at the right time and managed to get five more yards out of it before he got dragged out of bounds. Good run. So it's third and five. So they have a shot here. Now they're going to run it. They're going to pass it. Looks like they're going to throw it. Shotgun, fake the fake the pass, and absolutely miscommunicated the, the pattern. The uh, receiver went to the inside, and uh, quarterback threw the ball to the outside. He had a, he had to hurry that throw though because he had a Holy Cross defender in his face. So we're going to kick a field goal on fourth and five from the five. Should be a, uh, a chip shot. Let's see, snaps coming. Snap the ball. Ball is down. Kick is up. Doink. And good. <laughs> he, he doinked the ball off the left upright. <laughs> and he went a bing right through. So. Better to be lucky than good, I guess, when it comes to field goal kicking, especially at this level. So, good kick. Yeah. So, Harvard is now up 24 to nothing over Holy Cross. I figured this would be a closer game. I really did. He just dunked it off the left upright, and it went off to the right and right through didn't draw it up that way but it went through the uprights and that's all that matters so you got about uh just under three minutes left in the first half harvard's about to kick the ball off and kick is away Good, fairly deep kick caught at the two. And the runner comes out, gets tripped up, and tackled at the 20-yard line. So good coverage by Harvard. At least they didn't let him break through there. <clears throat> so let's see what uh, Holy Cross can do with two minutes and 44 seconds left in the first half. You guys, I, I don't know if you guys can actually see this stadium, but – this stadium looks like a high school football stadium. It's all the, it's all those uh, uh, metal bleachers. It's like a single level all the way around, except for the end zone. It's just a tiny little stadium. It's really funny. Shotgun snap, Holy Cross quarterback back to pass over the middle. 
incomplete. He's throwing into double coverage. He fortunately threw it in, in such a way that only the Holy Cross receiver had a chance at the ball, and he had no chance at the ball because it was way high. But so we're second and 10 from the Holy Cross 20. Back to pass, throws the ball out in the flat. He caught it uh, and got hit and knocked down after a four yard game. So should be third and six from the 24. We're waiting for the waiting for the snap. We got three right, three to the right, one to the left, or vice versa. Throws the ball deep. Oh, just missed. Holy Cross receiver um, laid out for it. He just missed catching it, and he's pissed at himself. He's slamming his helmet, all kinds of nonsense like that. It's a good throw. It's the only he laid out, and uh, it was it was late. It was the only person who had a chance at it was that receiver. So it was a decent throw, a bit overthrown, but uh, receiver is definitely mad at himself for blowing that play. Punt formation for Holy Cross. The uh, punter's at the ten yard line. Snaps back. Kick is away. Decent kick. Harvard calls for a fair catch. Somewhere up around the 20 yard line. Maybe the 19. Harvard has two timeouts left and a minute 47 to play with. I don't know what they're going to do here. Are they going to try and run some more plays and get some more points or just, just sit on it and go into the half of 24 0? Oh, wait a minute. Well, I thought something was going on, but they're focused on the referee now. They're going to do it again? I don't know what the call was, but for some reason, I guess there was a penalty on Holy Cross. It looks like they backed them up. Looks like they backed them up five yards for something. So the punter's at the goal line right now. Kick is away again. This looks like a short kick this time. It was a short kick. Harvard player picks it up on the bounce and goes nowhere. So it's first and 10 Harvard at the 34-yard line of Harvard. I guess there was a penalty of some kind, but they didn't show it on the screen. They didn't show the the referee making the signal or the call, which, you know, given given the uh, level of uh, coverage by this uh, this network, which is, uh, uh, I guess, local to um, Worcester, Massachusetts, or something. I mean, their 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 TV coverage is mediocre at best. But you know, I don't ex I, I don't expect network coverage uh, for a high Ivy League or a Patriot League game. Anyway. First and 10 for Harvard, back to pass, throws out to the running back in the flat, makes one guy miss, gets the ball out to the 42-yard line, so pickup of eight, and out of bounds, stops the clock, so it'll be second and two. Good catch and a good run from the uh, running back, makes the first guy miss. He tiptoes a little bit. Uh, second and two, quarterback has the ball, back to pass. Almost, uh, pressure almost got to him, almost picked off. It was tipped up by the Harvard receiver, and then it just kind of floated there for a while. And uh, the Holy Cross defender almost got to it. But, uh, yeah, he tipped the ball up. Holy Cross almost got that as a pick. But it fell to the ground incomplete. 
Oh, so cool. Uh, one minute, 21 seconds left, third and two. Harvard gets the ball, runs a play to get the first down, I'm pretty sure, which he did. Should have gotten the first down on that. It's up for at the Harvard 46, so they'll stop the clock while they move the chains. Harvard still has two timeouts left, so the whole field to work with, and uh, the clock is winding. Come on, get the ball snapped. Snap the ball, fakes a handoff, throws out in the left flat, and picks up a yard, maybe two, maybe a little more. 57 seconds left. It's going to be second down. I'm not sure what the yardage is yet. Second and nine, so I only picked up one. Oh. Got to go deeper than that with 57 seconds left. Can't be thrown out in the flat. Harvard quarterback back to pass, slings it out to the sideline, caught down to the Holy Cross 48. Um, what, maybe a pickup of three? They got to go. I mean, I don't know why the Harvard quarterback doesn't understand he has to go downfield. And he's got decent protection. So, okay, pickup of uh, five. So it's third and four. <clears throat> third and four from the Holy Cross 48. Running backs in motion to the left. So got to go pass all the way here. Playing good protection. Slinging it way downfield. And... That was borderline holding, but they let it go. So fourth and four from the Holy Cross 48. So I don't know what you do here. You might as well leave your offense on the field, but they're not because this is the Ivy League or Patriot League or whatever you want to call it. This is low, this is little boy football. So when you're near midfield and it's fourth and four, you punt the ball, which is of course. And with 46 seconds left in the first half and you've been dominating, what do you do? You punt the ball. That's just stupid. Low snap, kick is away. Fair catch by Holy Cross, caught it at the 20. I would have run a myself, I would have run a play there. I, I would I would have gone for it on fourth and four. Your defense has been pitching a shutout so, so far. Holy Cross really can't move the ball very well, except for, three, uh, I think, three plays the whole game that they've been able to move the ball. <clears throat> so it's first and 10 Holy Cross with 40 seconds left in the half. It's at the Holy Cross 25, and Holy Cross does not look like they're coming out in um, let's go to the half formation. They're gonna they're gonna run a play. They got three out to the left, one out to the right, back to pass. Throws it underneath and throws it right into the leg of the Harvard defender. I mean, he sidearm that. He, I mean, like that. And and it was like, what? Come on, man. <laughs> 36 seconds left, second and 10. I mean, this is inept. How in the hell did you guys get to three and one with this kind of offense? I mean, you must have been playing some real jokers. Back to pass again. Decent rush by Harvard. I think it was tipped at the line. Incomplete. Kind of floated out there. This is an atrocious offense. I, even by this level football standard, this looks terrible. Anyway, third and ten, back to pass. Decent rush. He evades being sacked. Evades again, 
and throws up a dying duck and uh, two flags on the three flags on the play. He might have been, he, it might be an illegal forward pass or it might be roughing the passer. I'm not sure. Considering this level of league, they're probably called roughing the passer, even if they only touched him. Personal foul, roughing the passer, Harvard. I mean, they, 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 they touched him. They didn't do anything that would be considered roughing the passer in big boy football. But in um, Northeastern Marxist League football, you know, doing this is roughing the passer. They did nothing to him. They hit him as he threw the ball. That's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. And that's a hometown referee trying to trying to help uh, uh, trying to help the home team out. Anyway, it's up to the forty yard line. First and ten with twenty one seconds left. That was a blatant hold on the Harvard player right there. Flag went down, so the refs caught that one. That pass was so far out of bounds. The only person that could have ca caught that was the trainer. There's got to be a hold on uh, on Holy Cross. He dragged the Harvard player down to the ground as he was about to sack the quarterback. <laughs> Holding Holy Cross. So back him up 10. <clears throat> and they call him roughing the passer too. Unbelievable. Offsetting penalties. They called that he, he was he was uh, pathetic. Okay, thirteen seconds left. Offsetting penalties. It's first and ten from the Holy Cross forty. Looks like Harvard's only going to rush three and drop eight, which is what they do. Back to pass. Bad dying quill was caught anyway by Holy Cross. Picked up nine yards. Three seconds left. Holy Cross calls timeout. And that was a horrible pass. They're just fluttering all over the place. It's just absolutely terrible. Oh, okay. I see why now. The Holy Cross quarterback got his arm hit as he was throwing. Could have been picked off, too, but... Uh, the receiver, um, the receiver came back for it and managed to grab it. All right, so three seconds left. It's first and ten. Uh, time for the Hail Mary. Ironic from a Catholic school. <laughs> I think Holy Cross is a Catholic school. I, I have to look that up. As soon as the half ends, I'm going to um, go over the scores of some other games and I'm going to grab something to drink since I'm empty. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Holy Cross 49-yard line, back to pass. This is going to be the last play of the half. And Harvard's chasing him, chasing him, chasing him, and sacked him. <laughs> Three-man rush, and they sacked him back at the 32-yard line. There is a flag on the play. Motion on uh, or illegal formation on Holy Cross. Declined. Half is over. So it's halftime at in um, – in, uh, at uh, the Holy Cross uh, Stadium in Worcester, Harvard's leading 24-0 at the half. Let's see what we got for other scores here real quick. Let me clear up some stuff here real quick. And let's see. Okay, refresh. Come on. All 
Okay, my app isn't wanting to refresh so easily. Let's shut it down and restart it. Must be something wrong with the app. It just doesn't want to restart. Okay, let's check ESPN then, even though I hate ESPN. And ESPN doesn't want to start. Maybe try this. Let me put my phone in airplane mode. And then take it off airplane mode and go grab another IP address. Or refresh the IP and try again. There we go. Okay, let's see. We uh, have Western Michigan is beating Buffalo 17-10. Five minutes left in the game. Uh, Western Michigan is in the red zone. Temple is beating Memphis 27-23. Uh, about six minutes left of their game. Uh, Minnesota is beating Purdue 17 13. They have the ball about three minutes left in that game. Michigan all over Whiskey 31 to 10. About nine minutes left in that game. Tennessee. What was the last time Tennessee scored 55 points in a game? My God. Tennessee, 55-17 over something called Mizzou. About 10 minutes left in that game. Missouri, the second best team in the uh, Southeastern Conference Eastern Division. Fangu. Toledo beating UMass, 45-7. Three and a half minutes left in that game. Uh, Texas all over TCU, 32 to 20. So I know my friend Texas TSIP is going to be very happy about that. Just uh, under 13 minutes left in that game. North Carolina beating the snot out of Duke, 38-7 uh, with six minutes left in that game. Pittsburgh all over Georgia Tech, 52 to 21, about 10 minutes left in that game. Georgia 34 to nothing over Arkansas with about six minutes left in that game. Um, at least Georgia's going to cover, right? Uh, Wake Forest 20 to 17 over Louisville. Um, no, uh, correction. Uh, Wake Forest 27 17 over Louisville. They just scored four minutes left in that game. Georgia is now over. Uh, Arkansas, 37 to nothing. My whole app just refreshed. Uh, app State over Georgia State, 7-3 in the second quarter. Uh, USC, 17 nothing over Colorado. Coastal Carolina, 14 nothing over Louisiana Monroe. Northern Illinois over Eastern Michigan, 7 nothing. And Cincinnati and Notre Dame are scoreless, about six minutes, five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Uh, no other games have started. And we have one final, Illinois beat Charlotte 24-14. So we're at the half here at the Harvard um, Holy Cross game. Um. I'm going to leave the stream running. Um, I, you know, I think there are a couple of people in here. Uh, I haven't seen a comment in the comments uh, in the chat sec section for a while now. I don't even know if the chat section is still working. I assume it is. <coughs> it might still be working. You know, sometimes it it freezes up on itself. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go get something to drink real quick. So I'll be right back. Stream is still running. So don't worry. Haven't gone anywhere. Be right back.
Okay, still still here, still going live. I was uh, just checking on my uh, my daughter and uh, setting up something for her to eat, which I ought to run off and put it in the oven here in a few minutes. <laughs> hey, what can I say, Dad? What can I do? Uh, let's see. Nothing has changed there, really. We're still in halftime. Uh, Spectrum News 1 is interviewing the Holy Cross coach, which is a thrill. Um, you know what? While, while we're waiting on that, let me see. Because I have access with, with um, ESPN+. Plus. I, I have access to other games. Um. Let's see here. <clears throat> you can jump in on some of the games and see what's going on around the Ivy League. Why not do that? Oh, here's Columbia and Princeton. Let's check in on them real quick. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Third quarter, six minutes, 45 seconds. Um. Princeton is up uh, 10 to 7 over Columbia, and they just kicked off to Princeton. So, good game there. Uh, let's see. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Definitely don't care about that. Hmm. Trying to find some more Ivy League games. Uh, let's see. No, oh, Cornell is Cornell is playing. Where is Cornell playing? Oh, Bucknell. They they haven't started yet, so never mind. No, I didn't care about that game either. Colgate Georgetown. No, I don't really care about that game right now. Hmm. Uh, let's see. App State, Georgia State. No, that's. Not a game I care about at the moment. Let's see. Uh, just... North Dakota State versus North Dakota. <laughs> well, North Dakota isn't North Dakota State like a perennial power in the uh, in in, uh, in 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 FCS football. Well, let's check in on that game. Let's see what, what we got there. Oh, they're just starting. Uh, yeah, so they're um, they haven't started yet. So never mind that. Mm -hmm. well, well, while we're waiting on that, let's watch. Uh, I'll watch Columbia and Princeton since they're both um, upcoming opponents. Uh, looks like uh, Princeton punted away to Columbia. Columbia had a decent return, so Princeton is uh, up ten seven over Columbia. I remember Columbia being. The, I remember them going on like an O and you know zero wins and like you know fifty five or sixty losses in a row before they they finally got off the Schneid. I forgot who they finally uh, beat, but I think they set the record for longest losing streak. I have to look that up real quick.
Okay, longest losing streak. Okay. Actually, it was Northwestern had a 34-game losing streak, but, uh, I mean, you know. Columbia football losing streak. Mm, 44 games, so it was a long losing streak. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing. That's that's for sure. Anyway, uh, let's see. Second and 10 for Columbia. Got the ball. They're on the Princeton 43-yard uh, line, so... Line up in the shotgun... Running back is in the pistol. Hand off to the running back, sweeps around to the right, and gets gobbled up for no gain. No gain on that play. So a little bonus coverage while we're waiting for um, Harvard uh, Holy Cross to come back on. Ah, Pizza Woman is here. Good afternoon to you, my dear. At least I know the uh, chat is working still. Haven't seen a, anything on it. There's only... You and me and here, Pizza Woman, it's just, this game isn't going to attract a lot of attention, but I don't care. I'm having fun with it. Um, Columbia quarterback back to pass, throws the ball out in the flat and gets nothing, <laughs> maybe one yard flag, late flag on the play, late flag. I mean, after the play was over. And Princeton players are going, oh, 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 I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Well, you must have done something, you dumb son of a bitch. Dead ball, foul, unsportsmanlike, Princeton. Good job. <laughs> so you just gave uh, Columbia a 15-yard penalty and a first down. So I said, maybe they'll show a replay, show what the hell they were talking about. Princeton coach is not happy. No, ball was thrown out in the flat, tackled, and the Princeton player, I guess he was just he was just jabbering too much. He didn't hit him or nothing. He just was talking to him, which, you know, and okay, first and 10 run up the middle, uh, gain of five or six. So I guess in the Ivy League, you got to remember the Ivy League is a completely different animal from real football. And, um, Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, hang on a minute. It, it takes 15 minutes. Okay. Back to pass. Ooh, almost laid out and got himself a touchdown. That's pretty, pretty good play. Anyway, the Ivy League is definitely a different animal with respect to um football. I mean, they they, they call a lot of ticky tack sportsmanlike plays and you know, I mean, we, we can't have competition in this league. Uh, everything has to be egalitarian and, you know, woke SJW crap. So, you know, Princeton player got hurt on that play. He was uh, defending the pass. The, the Columbia player laid out and almost came up with that ball. It, it, it just a diving catch, but it just went right through his hands. Uh, it was a great effort on the uh, Columbia player, and it was really well defended by the Princeton player, but uh, the Princeton player came up with the uh, the, the worst part of that, uh, unfortunately. He's shaken up, but uh, he got up on his hands and knees, so I think he's going to be all right. We'll find out here in a minute. And don't worry, I'll switch back to the Harvard game uh, pretty soon. There's three minutes and 19 seconds left in the third quarter of this game. I'll check my app here to see if they're they're still listed as being at halftime for the Harvard Holy Cross. Uh, let's catch up on a couple of games that matter. Um, 
Looks like the Georgia game went final. Yeah, Georgia game went final. Georgia won 37 to nothing over something called Arkansas. Uh, North Carolina beat Duke 38-7. Illinois beat Charlotte 24-14. Toledo beat UMass. Uh, looks like the Princeton player hurt his uh, wrist or his forearm. I hope it's not a break. Toledo beat UMass 45 to 7. Minnesota beat Purdue 20 to 13. Uh, Columbia goes back to pass. The quarterback is sacked. It was a safety blitz, or I think it was a corner, you know, safety blitz, and just gobbled him up. And he, well, more like he tripped him up, really, but. He was unblocked. He came running in, and it was a bad snap anyway, so it threw the whole timing off. But, you know, what can you do? Looks like I'm going to watch this field goal attempt, and then I'll switch back to the Harvard game. Uh, Columbia's kicking a field goal. Snap is back. Kick is up, and it's no good. Wide left. It's a line drive, wobbling piece of crap kick. It just wasn't any good there. So we're going to leave that game. We're going to go back to Harvard. Holy Cross real quick, see if they're starting. Uh, yep, caught them just as they were about to do the kickoff for the second half. Um, Holy Cross is kicking away to Harvard. And it froze. Dang it. All right, try to refresh it. Okay, so missed the kickoff, but it's first and 10 Harvard, and there's a Holy Cross player down on the field, so somebody got hurt there. Great camera work, guys. You really need to find out this new technology called uh, stabilization. It really would help you guys. Uh, 6-2 is back. Watch 6-2 is back. Um, and he got his watch. I, I shipped him a watch as part of a contest, so he just got his watch. That's good. Um, Megan Megan says, Will Must Champ, or as I referred to a moose dump, outscored Arky, uh, seven nothing today. Yeah, I don't believe it. I, I believe it. What the hell? Um, so he went to ad break for the Harvard Holy Cross because there's an injury on the field. Uh, I'm going to grab something to drink real quick. Be right back. Yeah. Shout out to my friend K Dog drinking Coke Zero. That's one of his nicknames, is Coke Zero. Uh, delicious. It's gotten to the point where I, I like Coke Zero as much as I like regular Coke. Yes, Megan, Megan, I'm wearing pants. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Let's check on some scores while we're waiting. Um, let's see. There is a hockey game, uh, hockey going on. Uh, only one game right now. The Islanders are up one nothing over the Devils uh, in the second period. About five, six minutes left in the second period. Um, Temple is beating Memphis 34-23. I think that's kind of an upset. Michigan all over whiskey, 38 to 17. That game is about to go final. It's about 30 seconds left in the game. Um, Tennessee has now scored 62 points. It's now up 62-24 over Mizzou. I really want to talk to the people who thought Mizzou was going to be the number two team in the East. And I'm going to start with I'm going to start with you, Uncle Lou. Missouri is the number two team in the East. Really? Really? They're going to beat Florida. Really? 
I want I want I want an explanation of this, sir. I deserve one. Harvard hands the ball off first and ten, right up the middle, and the running back uh, bumbles and stumbles and bangs and bumps for a uh, seven yard gain. Yep, seven yard gain. Good job. Uh, T Texas is over TCU 32-27. About four minutes left in that game. Texas has the ball, though. Harvard quarterback takes a snap and shotgun, hands the ball off again. Same running back, same play, basically, only he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, Pittsburgh up 52-21 over Georgia Tech. Wake Forest is up 27-24 over Louisville with about 11 minutes left in that game. So there's a tight game right there. <laughs> Pardon me. App State over Georgia State 14-6. Uh, Southern Cal over Colorado 20-7. Harvard throws a pass. Um, they're calling it incomplete. He That receiver had to jump way up there to catch that ball. So I think they... Knocked them out of bounds. Let's see from this angle. It was a very high throw, and he caught it, but he landed out of bounds. Yeah, that's that's incomplete. Coastal Carolina over Louisiana Monroe, twenty-eight to three. Eastern Michigan is delayed game right now. They're losing to Northern Illinois, ten nothing. Cincinnati and Notre Shame, uh, zero zero. Just started the second quarter. Harvard has to punt. They beat the pressure, get the punt away. It's a short punt, takes a Harvard roll, rolling down to the 41-yard line of Holy Cross. So good punt, even though, I mean, good roll, but it was a bad punt. Um, so that's where we are in terms of uh, scores and stuff like that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, shut up. Don't want to hear that. Okay, Holy Cross, first and 10 from there, 36. Yeah, 36. Uh, running play right up the middle. He gains five. Good, good run, good run block, but... Uh, um, right up the middle. Good job. Good blocking. The problem with Holy Cross is they haven't been able to sustain decent blocking on their running game for very long. Second and five, lined up in the uh, in the pistol. Running back is to the quarterback's left. Got twins, twins left, single right. And running play, fumbled it, fumbled it, bad exchange. And I think, I think Harvard got it. No, Holy Cross got it. Harvard player had a shot. I get think uh, Holy Cross player just ripped it out of his hands. Bad, bad exchange. That's on the quarterback. That, I mean, yeah, that's on the quarterback. The running back looked like he didn't expect to take that ball because he went right into blocking. So that's on the quarterback. He didn't call the play right, or uh, he didn't he didn't pull it out of the running back's belly right. So third and eleven, shotgun snap, fakes the handoff, back to pass, almost gets sacked, throws the ball, incomplete, almost intercepted. So Holy Cross had one good play on that. He had a good five yard run up the middle, and then they shot themselves in the foot, and then they uh, just. Bad pass the ball away, and we're going for another punt. Holy Cross can't out, can't get out of its own way. Uh, who's winning? Uh, Pizza Woman. Who's winning? Harvard is winning this game, twenty-four to nothing, over Holy Cross Crusaders. Punt is up and away. Harvard signals fair catch, lets it bounce, and it takes a Holy Cross bounce and roll down to the six. So deep, deep in Harvard territory. Looks like Holy Cross's best hope right now is flip the field, hold them to a three and out, flip the field, get some decent field position, and try to do something against the uh, Harvard Crimson defense. 
<coughs> which they haven't been able to do all game. Uh, I want to welcome everyone in here, of course. I, I don't know exactly how many people are, are still. I mean, the thing says there are seven people in here. Uh, please don't forget to click the thumbs up for me. Uh, that's always uh, helpful to me. Harvard runs a, a running play right up the middle and looks like they're going to lose about two yards. And that, that, that play never had a chance. Yeah, please don't forget to click the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, it does help uh, help me out. Uh, I would point out that the super chat function is available at the bottom of the chat window. Uh, never expected, never required, always appreciated. Um, also, um, my PayPal link is in the chat too. Uh, again, always appreciated, never expected. Uh, running play on second and 11 from Harvard. I think they got it out to the 10 yard line. So that might be a pickup of four or five. And they were signaling for an official timeout for a hurt player, but then they waved that off when he got up. Uh, Harvard's trying to do a uh, no huddle on a third and five from their 10 yard line. <coughs> Pardon me. Shotgun formation, run play right up the middle, draw play, and it got blown up by Holy Cross with no chance. Loss of two, fourth down. And Holy Cross defense did what they needed to do. They shut Harvard down. And um, they're going to get a punt out of the end zone and hopefully be able to flip the field. Yeah, he had no chance. I mean, there was no blocking there at all. Just, the linebacker just came in untouched and blew that play up like he knew what was coming. So Harvard's punting from deep in their own end zone. No pressure on the punter, really. Decent punt, fair catch, signal for, and caught at the 42-yard line of Holy Cross. So good punt. Not bad. About 10 minutes left in the third quarter. We've gone to commercial break. For the hell of it, I'm going to check on the Columbia game because I can. Why not? I mean, both these teams are going to be uh, Harvard opponents at some point. Uh, we've gone to the fourth quarter. Pardon me, fourth quarter. Princeton is still leading Columbia 10-7. Hmm. And ESPN Plus doesn't love me on this one, so I get out of this and go back to any other games here interest me at least to some level. And no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, the Cornell game has started. Uh, no, no. No, nothing really interests me except these two games on ESPN. I mean, the ESPN Plus has got a plethora of, of, of uh, FCS games. Uh, so if you're a fan of an FCS team, I guess ESPN Plus is a good investment. <laughs> um, they're still in commercial for the uh, Harvard game. Go back to Cornell, uh, Columbia, Princeton real quick. Yeah, they're just starting the fourth quarter. It's 10-7. Uh, Princeton. I think it's Columbia's ball here, so let's watch a play or two. Yeah, Columbia is coming on offense. <coughs> uh, it is first and 10 from the 33. Columbia quarterback rolling, 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 throws, underthrown, one hops it to his receiver. Good protection by the Princeton defense and good pressure. 
Oh, that wasn't uh, first and 10. I guess that was third down or something. Looks like they're bringing out the punt team. Well, my bad. Yep, fourth and 12. You see, they again, with these uh, with, with these local um, broadcasters and their crappy graphics and the, their inability to keep up with the play, I mean, it's just it, it, it's, it's pathetic in this day and age. They can't seem to do it. So punt formation for Columbia. Kick is away. There was a little bit of pressure, not much. Princeton player fields it at the 30. He runs one way, runs the other way, and then gets tripped up at 35 of Princeton. So five-yard return. Flag on the play. Six-yard return. Okay. So let's see what the flag is about, and then I'll switch back to Harvard. Come on, guys. It doesn't take 15 minutes to discuss a penalty. Pathetic. It's a nice hold. Maybe they're calling a hold on the Princeton player. I've seen I've seen acts of Congress go faster than this. For God's sake, guys! What what are you what are you ha- trying to be egalitarian and call penalties on both teams? I mean, come on! Stop with the nonsense. Okay, holding on Columbia, holding on Princeton. And what? The head coach of Columbia is going like, come on, guys, stop playing idiot games. Let's 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 do this. So are they gonna repunt? What 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 what's the upshot of this? Columbia, the Columbia head coach is giving the uh, linesman what fur. He's saying, come on, guys, get your get your act together here. <clears throat> what are you doing? Princeton head coach is doing the same thing. So somebody declined something. So there's two holds on uh, on Columbia. Uh, Princeton. I don't know. Slow motion nonsense. I'm I'm not even going to give them any more time of my life here. Pathetic. Couldn't figure that out in under five minutes, so. Back to the Harvard game. Something happened that was uh, positive for Columbia. Uh, for oh, looks like uh, Holy Cross scored, missed the extra point, and then did an onside kick and recovered it. Holy uh, Holy Cross quarterback back to pass goes deep over the middle and no chance. Double coverage overthrew everybody, but it looks like Holy Cross scored. They missed the extra point, so it's 24 to 6. And then they uh then they did an onside kick. Let me see what kind of score it was here. Let me see if I can um pull that up real quick. I was paying attention to one game and missed the other one. Brilliant. No. Incomplete pass on uh on second and ten. Now well, they don't do play by play breakdowns of these games on uh on the score, so oh well. Doesn't matter. Harvard's still winning. Uh, let's see. 
you guys are, I know there's a few people watching uh, this uh, cast. So, you know, feel free to make comments in the, uh, in the chat uh, area. Let me, let me hear from you guys. Have a little interaction going. I mean, I don't want to be the only one doing something here. Third and 10, shotgun formation. And we, they blew it dead. Flag on the play. It's on, I think it's uh, illegal motion on Holy Cross. So back them up five. No huddle. They're just looking at the sideline for, for the next play. Probably going to be the same play as the third and 10 one. Now it's a third and 15. So the receivers have to go a little deeper. It looks like the same play. It's the same player in motion. Bad snap. Uh, got the ball to the screen pass off to the Holy Cross receiver. He ain't even close to the first down. I think he probably picked up about half of what he needed. <coughs> So they're at midfield. It's fourth down, probably fourth and nine. It looks like they're gonna have to punt it. So nice recovery on that on that onside kick. I mean, you know, they got an onside kick and they they couldn't do a thing with it. They need they had some momentum going there and they just couldn't do anything with it. They kept, you know, blowing the blowing the plays. So punt formation, kick is away. Harvard signals fair catch. Muffed it. Oh, you bastard. He muffed it at the 10 yard line and Holy Cross got it. <laughs> All you had to do was catch the damn ball. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the crowd goes mild. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never seen such a dead crowd in my life. Signal the fair catch and just muffed it. What were you looking at the cheerleaders or something? I mean, what, what's going on here? There were four Holy Cross defenders around that, so there's no way Harvard was going to recover that. So now Holy Cross gets their best field position of the entire game. They're set up on the 10 yard line of Harvard. And. Now, there's something going on with the officials. He's on his headset, and he's he's looking at something. I don't know what he's looking at. It's clearly a fumble. It's clearly a Holy Cross recovery. So I don't know what we're doing here, folks. Basically witnessing a third-rate referee crew in action. That's for damn sure. But we'll see what we'll see what uh, the problem is here. Let me check a few things. I'm showing a replay of the fumble recovery. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I don't know. I don't have the sound turned on, so I don't know what, what was going on with that. But I don't know why they were reviewing an obvious recovery by, um, by Holy Cross. So it's first and goal on the 10-yard line of Harvard. Set up uh, three wide left, one uh, right, and quarterback draw up the middle, and Harvard ate that up after a two-yard gain. <clears throat> they tried to spread them out and uh, run up the middle with a, on a quarterback uh, design quarterback run. Harvard wasn't having none of that. They got second and goal. I don't know where the ball is exactly at the moment. Looks like it's on the seven or the eight. They're not showing a yeah. You know, there it is. It's on the seven. So second and goal from the seven. Three wide right, one in motion, coming back across to the left. 
hands it off. Nope, faked it. Quarterback draw and basically untouched into the end zone. Well designed. That, that play was well designed. That was a fake handoff, and uh, Harvard bit on the handoff, and uh, quarterback just kept running to the outside and uh, right into the end zone. Basically, nobody touched him. So that was a well-conceived uh, run play. So Holy Cross has scored now 12 unanswered points and uh, going for the extra point. Lined up. Ball is down, kick is up, and I think that one's good. Yep, that's good. So starting to become a ball game here, guys. It's now 24-13, uh, Harvard. Yeah, nobody – yeah, one guy sort of sweeped his, swept out his leg a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a well-designed uh, quarterback draw. So I don't know. Let's see what Harvard does to answer back. They're going to have to – obviously, now they're going to have to watch for another onside kick. I mean, we got us a game here, guys and gals. Uh, it's eight minutes and change left in the third quarter. Uh, a lot of time left, and it's now only an 11-point game. So, yeah. See what uh, See what Harvard can do to answer back. Harvard is definitely not lined up like they're thinking they're going to onside kick it again. And Holy Cross does not onside kick it. They kick it deep out of the end zone. So, touchback. Harvard sets up at the 25. <coughs> they got a, Harvard's got to an answer with some points, whether it's a field goal where there's a touchdown, they 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 got to get some points on this drive to extend it. I mean, this is now a uh, this is a two score game. I mean, a a, a a a touchdown with a two point conversion and a field goal, and we're tied. So I think, yeah, I don't do math so good. Harvard takes a snap, swings the ball out to the flat. Uh, good, good, uh, good, uh, run. I think he picked up eight. Yeah. It looks like an eight yard gain. That should be second and two. So very manageable down and distance here. <clears throat> could be run or could be passed up. Oh, they gave him seven. So second and three shotgun formation as every formation now. Uh, fake the uh, fake the pass, run right up the middle, and um, one yard maybe. Not a lot of run block on that one. The linebacker came around from the right and just blew the play up. No gain. So third and three now. So now you got to convert. Snap the ball, back to pass, evades a rush, flips it out to the to, to the right, uh, to the left, caught at the 41, first down Harvard. Little floater, uh, threw it into, uh, threw it to his tight end, I think it was his tight end. Uh, no, he's not big enough to be a tight end, he was a receiver, and there was double coverage Kind of, there were no, there wasn't. There was three Harvard receivers and two Holy Cross defenders all grouped together like that, and uh, one of them caught up with it. Uh, back to pass, fake the handoff, rolling to the right, pass, dangerous pass, could have been picked off, but Holy Cross defender just knocked it down. He timed that very well, he came right through the receiver. He got to be a bit faster on that pitch. Second and 10. Let's see, twins to the left, single out to the right, running back in the backfield, tight end. 
run play around to the right. One guy missed. The next guy didn't. Blew that thing up like he knew the play was coming, and it's a loss of uh, two. Maybe three. This was not a well-conceived run. Too much stutter stepping, not enough running. Loss of three, third and 13. Trips left, no to the right, pass, caught. Nice run after catch down to the Holy Cross 40, first down. Good job, Harvard. Good play. Bullet pass, too. I mean, that thing had plenty of mustard on it, plenty of speed. And he just faked the uh, defender out of his shoes. Not literally, but. <laughs> okay, first and 10, Harvard from the Holy Cross 45, not the 40, excuse me. Uh, shotgun snap, hand faked the handoff out to the flat at the 40, caught and then hit him at 41. Caught and hit immediately and tackled. So gain of four, second and six upcoming. <clears throat> Just keep moving downfield, boys. I mean, that's all you need. Just keep the clock going and keep going downfield. Four minutes, 50 seconds left in the third quarter. <clears throat> Harvard needs points on this drive, and they need to eat clock. Fake the handoff, bubble screen. He makes the first guy miss. The second guy didn't. I think he managed to, I don't know if he lost one yard or got back to the line of scrimmage. You think he might have lost a yard. Third and seven from the Holy Cross 47. No, uh, okay, uh, running back to the right, twins right, twins left. And fake the handoff. I don't even know why. Back to pass. Wide open receiver. He juggles and drops it. If he had caught that thing, he had a first down, and he probably had about another five or ten yards before. Somebody would have hit him. Just dropped that pass. Just wasn't paying any attention. Holy Cross coach is whining about something to the linesman. Linesman tells the assistant coaches to shut the hell up. Head coach is going all the way out into the middle of the field. That was an injured Holy Cross player on the field. That's why the coach was yelling probably you know, probably didn't like the way somebody got hit. See if they show it on replay. Holy Cross coach is giving somebody hell about something. See if they see if they show a replay. Player is standing up on it under his own power. That's good. Yeah, he was wide open by 10 yards. He just didn't look the ball in and catch it. I think he's screaming about that. that that's a uh, – I think he's a safety, and I think he got – I think he's yelling about a, a chop block or something. Um, I think that maybe it was his man that was uh, covering. Holy Cross coach is still giving the linesman hell. <laughs> He obviously thinks his player was done dirty. He, he might have been. I only caught the the replay. Only caught the edge of that play, so not really sure what the hell happened to him. Holy Cross coach needs to shut up before he gets a penalty for unsportsmanlike. Anyway, Harvard's in punt formation because that's what you do from the forty-two yard line of your opponent if you're in the egalitarian Northeast. Punts the ball. Short punt, fair caught at the 11.
And a Holy Cross player just took that ball and chucked it somewhere into the middle of the field. I don't know what that was all about. Ugh. You know, the, the the boys in purple are doing an awful lot of whining today. I I, I don't understand it. Um, usually, don't see this much whining in any any kind of sport other than soccer. But uh, oh well. Uh, Holy Cross back to pass, throws the ball out in the flat, caught, knocked out of bounds on the twenty three yard line. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, second and two. Um, shotgun formation. Snap upcoming. Snap pass out in the flat. Bubble screen drop the ball. I don't know if they're going to call that a, a, incomplete, a complete pass and a fumble. They are. They're calling it a complete pass. Fumble by Holy Cross. Recovered by Harvard. Harvard has the ball. I bet you they review this. And, yeah, then the Holy Cross player was yelling at the referee, and the referee threw a flag. So either way, there's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct on Holy Cross. He caught the ball. He made one move. I don't know if you call that a football move or not, but it, it bounced off of his thigh and then fumbled. He pivoted, it fumbled, and then Harvard jumped on it. So I, I don't know if they're going to call that complete or not. And then a dead ball personal foul on the receiver probably said something to the referee that he didn't like. I wonder if they'll toss his ass for that. And I bet you they're going to review this. Yep, they're reviewing it. Now, interestingly, I'm watching the review here. They got the, the referee and a linesman standing next to a guy with a with a vest on and a walkie-talkie. So obviously the reviews are coming from somewhere else, not on the field. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet they're going to call this an incomplete pass because all he did was catch it, and he barely had control of it, and then he pivots and he drops the ball. So... I'm not sure if they're going to qualify that as a football move. <coughs> but we'll see. They're talking to somebody, probably up in the uh, probably up in a replay booth somewhere. Because they don't have one of those little mini screens on a on a on a unipod like they do in big boy football. So So they're talking it over. While they're talking it over, I'm going to look at some more scores here. Still talking it over. Anyway. Current games that are running, uh, Wake Forest is ahead of Louisville, 37-34, 22 seconds left in the game. Louisville's got the ball, but it's on their 25-yard line, so that doesn't look good for Louisville. App State is over Georgia State, 14-9. USC is over Colorado, 20-7. They're both in the third quarter. Coastal Carolina is all over Louisiana Monroe, 38-3 uh, at the end of the uh, first half. And the referee is about to make a decision. Northern Illinois and Eastern Michigan, 10 nothing. Northern Illinois, with the, the game is in a delay. <clears throat> I don't have the sound on, so I don't know. And they're calling it, um, well, they're calling a dead ball foul on Sportsman like on Holy Cross. 
but I don't know who has the ball. I think this. I think they're giving it to Har. They're still giving it to Harvard. <coughs> uh, Cincinnati is all over Notre Dame, ten nothing. About four minutes left in the second quarter. Nevada is beating Boise State, seven nothing, eight and a half in the first quarter. And Harvard does have the ball now. Texas Tech over West by God, Virginia, seven nothing, four and a half in the first quarter. Harvard hands the ball off. Running back makes one guy miss. Stiff arms another guy, makes another guy miss, and turns what looked like a bad run play into a five-yard game. So pretty good there. Stanford's beating Oregon 3-0, 10 minutes left in the first quarter. Ohio State 14-0 over Rutgers, 11 minute, 11 and a half in the first quarter. Uh, Alabama Old Miss are scoreless with four minutes left in the first quarter. Wow. Didn't expect that. Harvard takes the ball, second and goal, pass, intercepted. Intercepted by Holy Cross in the end zone. Just a bad pass. That was a it was single coverage. He just threw it right to the Holy Cross guy. You'd think that you'd think a Holy Cross uh, receiver just won the Super Bowl with that pick. You're still down 11 points, home slice. Oh, the Harvard receiver fell down. That was probably <coughs> had something to do with it. I wonder if it was pulled down. Now they're going to call it incidental contact. I think they kind of their legs kind of ran into each other. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Eastern Carolina over Tulane, ten nothing. Uh, South Carolina over Troy, three nothing. Uh, Florida State is winning over Syracuse. Holy shit, guys! Three nothing with about two minutes left in the first quarter. Wow, Florida State's winning a game. Be still, my heart. Uh, Oklahoma three nothing over Kansas State. About five minutes left in the first quarter. Uh, let's see. Second and 11. Holy Cross back to pass. Throw the ball out in the flat. Um, was that complete? It was complete. Uh, Florida Atlantic over Florida International. 7 nothing. but Florida International is on the FAU one-yard line, so they'll probably score. Uh, and then a bunch of games nobody probably cares about. Third and 11, that was an incomplete pass. Third and 11 by Holy Cross. Getting the play from the sideline. Better do something here, boys. Back to pass. Four-man rush. Caught by Holy Cross. Looks like a first down to me. Yep, first down. Got up to the 32. It's a good, good, good play. Ironically, that was the guy that got called for the uh, unsportsmanlike. Back to pass again for Holy Cross. Hit as he threw. The ball kind of wobbled. Uh, incomplete. Uh, it was a little high. Uh, the receiver made a good jump effort for it. He almost got it, too. but uh, uh, And he got walloped for his trouble. So, um Good that he bounced back up there. A little slow, but he bounced back up. Second and 10, about a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Harvard is still up 24-13. Pardon me. See, snap back to, no, fakes the handoff. And no, it didn't fake the handoff. It actually did hand it off. Uh, gets it out to the 39-yard line. So that looks like a gain of uh, five or six. They're going hurry up. No, nope, uh, to the 30, yeah, 38 yard line. Sorry. Okay, hurry up offense, third and three. About to snap it, backed out of it, looking for the play from the sideline. Clock is still running 59, 58, 57. Better do something. Pass over the middle, caught. Looks like right at the stick, so should be should be a first down. All that running around and all that effort to get a play in, and you picked up three yards. 
Whoopee. <laughs> back to pass again, dropping back. Harvard's not really pressuring the quarterback at this point. Flag on the play. Looks like interference. The receiver is jabbering at the uh, defender. You better watch that, son. That's not very egalitarian of you. A pass interference on Harvard. That'll move the sticks, get him a first down. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10, Holy Cross. And I don't know where they are. They are on their 46. Running play up the middle. He breaks many, many tackles and runs all the way down to the Harvard 38. Big run by Holy Cross's running back. He just bowling balled his way right through the line. I don't think Harvard wasn't completely ready for that. They're going, hurry up. Holy Cross back to pass. Four-man rush. Tipped. Almost picked off. There's a lot of tip balls uh, coming out of, out of, out of this team. Um, I don't know how big this quarterback is, but he's getting a lot of tip balls. It's it's He's not looking like he can see over the line very well. <coughs> Okay, second and 10 from the Harvard 37. I'm sorry, I thought it was 38. 37. Harvard showing blitz. Holy Cross backs out of the play, looks over to the sideline. Harvard backs out of the blitz. Looks like they're going to rush four. No, they're blitzing. Incomplete. He threw it behind the receiver. Receiver made a good effort to uh, get it, but he threw it behind. Third and 10, one second left in the third quarter. This will be the last play of the third quarter, no matter what happens. Holy Cross is at the point right now where if they don't make this conversion, they probably need to think about going for it because they're about to go in the fourth quarter down 11, and they're not moving the ball consistently up to this point. <coughs> snap back to pass rusher in his face he gets the pass away and the receiver is dropped I, you didn't get the first down I'm pretty sure of that um, and he comes up limping a little bit and that's the end of the third quarter and that receiver is definitely not uh, not in good shape He's he's, he's hurt a little bit Okay, end of three. While we're waiting for the ads there, I think I'm going to switch over to the Columbia-Princeton game. See how they're doing, if that game is still on. Uh, it may not be. It may be over. Huh. Well, that would be a shame, but. Knowing Columbia like I do, Princeton probably managed to pull it out. Um, let's see. Could look at that game. No, I don't want to look at that game. Kent State. I'd rather I'd rather have my teeth drilled. Uh, no, not really interested in any of these games per se. Hmm. I wish the FAU FIU game was on here. That would be kind of neat to see. Oh, how about Cornell versus Bucknell? Since Harvard has to play Cornell at some point, see how they're doing. Uh, zero zero. <laughs> Cornell and Bucknell zero zero. Uh, two minutes left in the first quarter. Uh, they're playing at Bucknell, which is probably another one of these teeny tiny. Yeah, they, I mean, this stadium is probably even smaller than the stadium at the Holy Cross. And definitely not full. So we're in a punt formation for somebody. Looks like Bucknell was punting. 
and got a good roll and down at the 42. Uh, so it's, I think, Cornell's ball at this point. I think. Yes, yeah, so that was Bucknell that made the punt. So Cornell's got the ball. Let's watch a play here real quick, see what they do, and then I'll switch back to the game that I'm interested in. Cornell back to pass, right over the middle. Good play. Good run after catch. Looks like it's going to be second and short yardage. I'll go back to the Harvard game. Yep, just in time. Oh, let's see. Holy Cross still has the ball, of course. Snap back to pass, fourth and eight. And the game freezes on me. Son of a bitch. Looks like it's about to be intercepted. <laughs> I always hate it when these the technology fails you. No, well, it wasn't intercepted, but the corner uh, the uh Holy Cross uh receiver. Dropped it. So switch over on downs to um, Harvard. And of course, now my internet's going to fail me. Isn't that nice? Well, they turned it over on downs to Harvard. So let me see if I can get it back here. You know, Harvard uh, ran the ball first down. They ran the ball around the left side. Looks like they picked up about 15 or 16 yards on that play. So another first down. They're at uh, the Holy Cross 49. Snap the ball, fake the fake the pass, run around the left side, and <laughs> he got knocked out of bounds and right into the water chuck. <laughs> Jesus. Good run, though. I mean, you only got three yards, but at least it was comical. Ugh. So I think Harvard is going into pass only if absolutely necessary mode. They're going to try to burn clock. So it was a gain of two, second and eight from the Holy Cross 47-yard line. Shotgun formation as usual. Holy Cross is showing blitz. They back out of it. They rush four. Uh, they fake the pass, run it up the middle. I think he got to the 44-yard line. So gain of three. So I think it's going to be third and five. <clears throat> Harvard is in no hurry to uh, snap the ball, or they shouldn't be. Third and five from the Holy Cross, 44. Snap the ball back to pass, throws it complete after you know, plenty of yards after catch, all the way down to the Holy Cross 28. First down, Harvard. Nice, uh, nice throw out into the right side. Receiver was wide open, the defender back too far off of him, and uh. Nice, and he stayed in bounds, so the clock's going to keep running after they reset the sticks, so that's a smart play on his part. Uh, let's see, first and 10 from the Holy Cross, uh, 28. Snap is coming. Back, no, nope. he started to run forward. Pass over the middle, touchdown! Yeah! Yeah! Good job. He just touched past that right over the middle, right out in front of the receiver. The only player that had a chance was the Harvard receiver. Nice. It was a nice little 
He, he did a T-bow. He, he took the snap. He took one step forward, pulled it back, right over the middle, touch pass, nailed the, nailed the Harvard receiver in stride, just waltzed right into the end zone. Beautiful play. Nicely done. Kick is up for the extra point. Flag on the play. I think the kick was good. <coughs> it was probably an offside or something on Holy Cross because illegal shift on Holy Cross. It's declined. Kick is good. 31-13, Harvard. Good job. Good, good job. Now we're going to an ad, and I will be right back. Good game so far. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Calco Basin is here. Good to see you, my friend. How long have you been here? Um, I'm having fun myself. I hope, uh, I hope if you've been here for a while, you're enjoying this with me. But uh, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But uh, Harvard is up 31 to 13 over Holy Cross. There is about 12 and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Harvard is about to kick off after having just scored a touchdown. And it's out of the end zone. <coughs> Touchback. Holy Cross will start from their 25-yard line. While we're waiting for that, let me check the scoreboard. Uh, still showing replays of that last touchdown. So, all right. Let's see. Holy Cross is in pure pass formation, and throw over the middle was dropped. He threw in a double coverage, and I think the uh, receiver, yeah, the receiver took a hell of a pop. So, he's up though. Uh, let's see. App State is all over Georgia State, 24 to 9. Colorado over, uh, USC over Colorado, 30 to 7. Uh, we have a second and 10 in this game. Upcoming back to pass. Now quarterback runs with it. I don't know if that was probably a design run. But it looks like he picked up a good chunk of yardage. Coastal Carolina is over Louisiana Monroe, 38-3. I think they're just starting the second half. 
Northern Illinois, Eastern Michigan is 10 nothing. Northern Illinois, it was a delay. They're in a delay. Uh, Cincy is all over Notre Dame, 17 and nothing at halftime. Uh, oh, it's third and two. Uh, third, third down, two yards to go for Holy Cross. They're in a pass formation, back to pass, over the middle, blew it. Receiver should have caught that. He just, he muffed it. Boise State over Nevada, 13 to 10. Texas Tech beating West by God, Virginia, 14 to nothing. Oregon is losing to Stanford, 10 nothing. That's major. But it's only four and a half left in the first quarter. Uh, it's fourth and two here. Holy Cross, they have to go for it now because they, are, they if, if they have any chance of trying to get into this game, they're going to have to go for it. Ohio State over Rutgers, 17-0. Okay, fourth and two, snap the ball, run play. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. He was close. No, they're signaling. Are they signaling Harvard ball? Well, the offense is coming off the field, so they know they didn't get it. Um, Alabama over Ole Miss, seven nothing. Uh, Alabama is on the Mississippi Miss Ole Miss five, so they're about to score again. Just started the second quarter there. East Carolina over Tulane, twenty four nothing. Troy over South Carolina, seven to three. Um, Florida State is still winning, three nothing over Syracuse. Uh, about 11 minutes to go in the second. It is now Harvard's ball. They run up the middle for a couple. K-State over Oklahoma 7-3. Florida International, Florida Atlantic are tied at 7. Uh, the rest of the games nobody would really care about. So, Oops. Anyway, get you caught up on those things. Yeah, Megan Megan's back. How about Cincy? Yeah, they're beating the snot out of Notre Shame. It's kind of funny. Uh, running play by Harvard, right up the middle. He busts right through to the second level. And pretty sure he's got a first down on that run. Down to the 19, it looks like. <clears throat> Holy Cross player looks like he's shaking up a little bit. I mean, he just blew through the line and got into the second level, like, instantly. Either that's good blocking by Harvard or piss poor tackling by Holy Cross. Looks like good blocking by Harvard. <coughs> First and 10, Harvard on the 18. Running play. Sweeps around to the left. Gets to the edge, takes a hit, and keeps on going. Looks like he picked up about five there. Just under 10 minutes left in this game. Well, congratulations to your dogs, uh, Beg and Megan. I mean, uh, obviously they showed that uh, either they're really, really good or Arky is really, really not good. Yeah, good. I know, Steve. Uh, I, it must be a good afternoon for you. The dogs won. They won convincingly. I, I never had a doubt, really. I just, I don't know why people doubted, um, doubted the dogs over that game. Uh, let's see. Second and four run play around the left side got blowed up before it ever really started. I think he got back to the original line of scrimmage. So probably third and four. They're in the red zone, by the way. <laughs> I'm hoping that Florida will have a good afternoon or evening. Uh, and by good afternoon or evening, I mean just win the damn game and try not to have Todd Grantham make us look too damn stupid in the process. But I don't know. Who knows? We're third and four from the Holy Cross 12. Uh, snap the ball, pitch to the running back. Looks like he got the first down or he's damn close. 
good option uh, pitch. I mean, he, he drew the linebacker to the quarterback, uh, which is what you want to do. We're going to call that first and goal or, yep, we're calling it first and goal. Okay. Clock is running with eight minutes and change. He, you know, that running back for Harvard, he made that uh, defender for Holy Cross pay for that tackle. It is first and goal. It is on the Holy Cross six. Snap is back, and they blew the play dead for some reason. Timeout. Looks like timeout Harvard. Yep, timeout by Harvard. So we're going to hold off on that touchdown, boys. <laughs> Let's go over some of the finals that are up on the board now. Let's see. Western Michigan beat Buffalo. Temple beat Memphis. Minnesota beat Purdue. Michigan all over Whiskey. Tennessee, Tennessee scored 62 points on supposedly the best, the second best team in the Eastern Conference, uh, Eastern Division of the SEC. Uh, I want somebody to explain that to me, that Missouri was better than Florida. Really? Yeah. Okay, Harvard's running their play, handoff to the running back, sweeps around, touchdown. Just swept around the right side and turned it up and touched down Harvard. Nice play. Yeah, somebody better explain to me how uh, Missouri was supposed to be better in Florida this year. What are they, two and three now? I'll check. Toledo over UMass, 45-7. Texas over TCU, 32-27. to Struggle win! Uh, Illinois over Charlotte, 24-14. North Carolina over Duke, 38-7. Pittsburgh all over Georgia Tech, 52-21. My apologies and sympathies to Sea Dog. Georgia just absolutely shellacked Arkansas. So hopefully Florida will move up when, when and if they beat um, Kentucky. Uh, oh, by the way, the kick was good. So Harvard is up 38-13. Uh, Wake Forest over Louisville 37-27. Uh, now, what is Missouri's record? Missouri is... Missouri is 2-3. and three. Holy crap. 2-3. And 0-2 in the conference. Really? Yeah. They're 0-2 they're in the SEC. Huh. Huh. Second best in the SEC East, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, no. Okay. Maybe somebody could explain that to me. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 mystified. I'm absolutely mystified. Now I'm not saying that Florida is going to win tonight. They should. You know, we'll see what happens this evening. But they are still a seven and a half point favorite over Kentucky. So we'll see. Somebody's sending me a message here. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, that's not news that particularly thrills me, but okay, wonderful. Anyway, Missouri is not the second best team in the division. They're probably not even the second best team in the state of Missouri. <laughs> but that's fine. <clears throat> Let's see, where are we going to come back out of the ad? Yep, we are. Okay, so Harvard is up 38-13 over Holy Cross. Is 7 minutes, 42 seconds left in the game. Uh, Harvard is about to kick off. 
And there's still people actually left in the stands. I don't know why at this point, but uh, Harvard kicks off, goes out of the end zone, touchback. <coughs> Not a lot of running kickoffs back in this game, I, I've got to say. Cross this up. Hang on. There we go. Uh, let's see. So of the of the people that are in the chat, I assume the chat is still working at this point. What other games have intrigued you today besides the Georgia game, which a lot of my friends are Georgia fans? Uh Holy Cross uh is first and ten from the 25. They run it up the middle for three yards. I think Holy Cross has gone into Let's just get out of this game without hurting ourselves mode. Um, I would be willing to bet they put in their backups at this point. Although without a game program, I, I would have no idea who's a backup and who isn't. Uh, looks like they're looks like a backup quarterback is in now. Shotgun formation, hands it off. Uh lost. But whatever he gained on the first down run, he lost on the second down run. So Holy Cross has basically gone into um, uh, this game is over mode. And I don't blame them. I mean, they're down way too much. Uh, let's see. Auburn LSU, that should be a good game. I'm actually kind of hoping Auburn wins that game because – I would like to see LSU demoralized before Florida gets to him. Long pass. Ooh, we got it. Long pass by Holy Cross all the way down to uh, the Harvard 35. Man, that came out of nowhere. I think they lulled Harvard into a false sense of security and then just let fly with a long over-the-middle pass. Looks like he's down. At, maybe he's down at the 33. <coughs> Yeah, Oklahoma appears to be struggling again over, over Kansas State. Come on. Uh, down at the 35. Okay, first and 10 at the Harvard 35, play action pass. He beats the blitz. Now he's running for his life, and he gains two yards and gets tackled. I think he woke Harvard up a little too, too easy with that one. So under six minutes left in the game now. His body language is saying, like, man, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> He's got his hands on his hips, his head cocked to one side, like, why are you doing this crap to me? It's not worth it. Shotgun snap, back to pass, Harvard's rushing four, almost got to him, directing traffic, running, running, balls in the air. It was tipped by a Harvard defender that he obviously didn't see. Lucky that ball fell incomplete. And my camera went all wonky on me again. There it goes. That was an ill-advised throw, sir. Third and eight. He just didn't see number 15 for Harvard just standing right in front of him. And he threw it right to him and 15 just batted it up in the air instead of catching it. Uh, third and eight. Shotgun. What are you going to do? You're going to throw it? You got to throw it. No, he fakes the hand. No, he fronts a handoff and no, he faked it. Sorry, my bad. He faked it. Didn't fake the Harvard uh, defensive line. They sacked him back at the 40. He should have, <laughs> he should have let the running back have it. He was going to run 20 odd yards before they would get to him. Fourth and 12. He lost. He lost uh, four yards on that. So fourth and 12 from the uh, Harvard 37. Twins right, twins left, running back to uh, the quarterbacks right now. Motion to back to the right. Three wide to the right. They're all out in the pattern, back to pass. Throws it deep in the double coverage, and it's picked off. I think it's picked off. And the guy who picked it off is hurt. 
Oh, he went down. He went. He's down on his. He's hurt. I think he hurt. I think he hurt a shoulder or an arm. He threw it right into double coverage. I mean, that's just. And he's up, and he caught it, and he landed right on his arm, and shoulder. Amazing, he held on to the ball though. Because he came up right away and he's dragging his shoulder like this. So Harvard's got the ball first and ten on the uh I guess it's first and ten on the twenty. Because a touchback, obviously, it was picked off in the end zone. About four minutes and change. Uh, first down play picked up one yard. They still have their starting quarterback in the game. I don't know why they're doing this. The, why have they got the starting quarterback in the game with four minutes left in the game? It, it, this game is so far out of reach. Play your backup. Save the starter for the next game. I do not understand that. That's that's not not smart. Hand off to the running back, sweep around the left side, and a good run. I think he picked up seven or eight on that. It should be third and two. Clock is still running, three and a half left in the game. Third and two. Okay, it was a good call on my part. Uh, this stream is going to end when the game ends. Uh, if anyone's in here who still hasn't clicked the thumbs up button, I really would appreciate it if you did. Uh, it really does help me out. I want to thank everyone who came in here, no matter how briefly they came in. Uh, showed some support, showed some love to the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, third and two is a draw up the middle. I... Don't think he got the first down. I think he's about a half yard short. But I enjoy doing. I, I'm. I'm. This is my third live stream of a game. Um, I wish, wish, wish I could do it for it again tonight. I really do. Um, it's fourth and one. Harvard's bring out the punt team. I just can't. I made plans. I can't break them. I don't want to break them. Uh, I mean. I wish I could do the Florida game tonight. I'm not going to be able to. I'm not even going to be able to watch the game tonight. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the score on my phone. Uh, that's the best I can do. But I won't be seeing the game tonight. I won't be seeing any of the games tonight, really. Punt is away. Only one guy back, and it's over his head. And it takes a Harvard bounce. And it's down at the Holy Cross 4. <laughs> so great punt by the Harvard punter and it, it took a sideways bounce and uh pinned Holy Cross very, very deep. Just under two minutes left in the game. So but I will make sure I, I arrange my schedule next Saturday so that I can stream that game, which I'm gonna look it up. I think it's the Vanderbilt game. Uh, yeah, Vandy. It's a noon game. They've already announced the uh, kickoff time. Uh, Holy Cross runs up the middle, gains one yard. Uh, so the Vandy game is at Florida, noon, on the SEC network. So I'll stream, I'll live stream that game um, like I'm doing now. Because why not? Clock is running. Uh, second and seven for Holy Cross. Uh, run play to the right. Uh, got up to the 10-yard line. So I think it's going to be third and uh, four. Third and five. One minute left in the game. They let, yep, third and four. 
They're just letting the clock run. I mean, why not? I mean, this game is over. Essentially, I mean, this game, <laughs> this game was over in the first quarter, but this game is over. <coughs> so Harvard's going to go to three and zero. Oh, Holy Cross is going to drop to three and two. They're not in the same conference, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Holy Cross runs a uh, play up the middle for nothing, but. It's now twenty under 25 seconds to go, so that is probably the last play of the game. Uh, I don't think they'll have to punt. Yeah, that's the last play in the coaches are meeting in the middle of the field. So that game has gone final. The Harvard Crimson 38, Holy Cross Crusaders 13. Uh, dominant performance by Harvard. They're looking very, very good. Hopefully going to challenge for the Ivy League. Uh, championship uh, this year. Uh, we'll see what happens when they get into the um, when they get into the meat of the Ivy League schedule. Um, so I'm done. It was a, a great stream from my point of view because Harvard won. I was very happy about that. Um, shout out to all the folks that were in here. This is, was a lot of fun. Uh, I really appreciate everyone stopping by. I didn't expect a big turnout for a Harvard. Uh, game stream. Uh, I just do it because uh, reasons. <laughs> so I will see you all next week for the Florida game because I'm sure the Florida game is going to be on at the same time as the Harvard game. So I'm not going to obviously stream the Harvard game when Florida is playing. So I'll see you all for that next Saturday. Uh, I will also see a lot of you for my Wednesday afternoon stream, which I do every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, go watch videos that I made on there. Um, lots of stuff to see. I will see all you guys in other streams uh, from other YouTubers and on my stuff, I'm sure. Until then, um, go Harvard Crimson. And, of course, go Gators. Screw all you haters. See ya. <laughs>